one. <laughs> Hello and welcome back, everybody. It is episode 14 of Arc 2 of Better Than Heroes. I'm Rachel Weeks and I play Click, the level 7 Joel Torcreen fighter. I'm Andrew Overdahl and I play the human bard, Flute, aka the Wind Rider. Oh, Jordy muted. Oh, Jordan He's a ghost. He's a ghost. <laughs> that one's not on us. That one's not on us. He's still muted. You stole oh, no. his voice. Oh, no. Refresh right, everybody else. Go. What? That's Jordan right. Dahl. He's a moon boy, a level seven moon boy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get him in there. My name's Aaron Urist. I play Kai Hammerstein, the artificer. And I'm and... Harlan Kelly. I'm Harlan Kelly. I play everybody else. I am the dungeon master of this game. Jordan, you back on? I am now. Oh, yes. Boy. I'm Jordan Dahl. I play the Moon Boy, a level seven Moon Boy. Yeah, I, I, I crushed it. Tonight, we are very excited to introduce this week's special guest. Max Jenkins from Netflix's Lost in Space is here. Woo! Thank you for joining us, Max. We're excited to have you. I'm so stoked to be here. I'm looking at the chat right now, and I see like some familiar names. A lot of people have different names than in real life, so if I don't see you guys, I just know that I'm looking at the chat and I see everybody. So uh, <laughs> yeah. really stoked to be here, and um, can't wait to get into a good game. Can't wait to see yeah. what my character looks like, dude. <laughs> Oh boy. In so cool. just a few moments, we are going to play some 5e Spelljammer inspired Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, but first, our show is brought to you by Big Top Productions. It Woo! is live Top soundtracked Productions. by the wonderful Jason Wardell. Woo -woo. And it is directed by Case Drury of Tiger Moon Productions. And now, Ow. for last week's recap. Oh man, all right. Last time on Better Than Heroes, red leather, yellow leather, uh, last time on Better Than Heroes, the crew of the Dinger had successfully hijacked a Mind Flayer flagship, the Nautiloid. Talon set a course from Mungabwe, Moon of Glyph, toward the planet's surface. There, a secret portal in an abandoned labor laboratory would take the party to Grandchild, Moon of Garden. As the fog of war on deck faded, Kai spoke to a dejected clique who was angry and ashamed after having, having been psionically paralyzed during combat with the Mind Flayers. Kai and Moon Boys searched and plundered the captain's quarters of assorted booty. Click and Windrider spoke to one of the remaining catatonic fishmen on board, a sad, mind-broken thrall. The Nautiloid made landfall beneath the acid skies of Glyph in a pool in front of the abandoned Illithid laboratory which supposedly housed the portal the party sought. The crew decided to scuttle the Nautiloid and turn their attention to her helm. In a risky move, Kai connected to the helm and met the Mind Flayer Elder Brain, who swore vengeance as Kai managed to withstand its power and breach the helm's psychic barriers, wreaking magical havoc inside like an arcane computer virus. With the helm cracked and weakened, Click struck a powerful psionic blow, sundering it and sinking the Nautiloid. The destruction of the flagship seemed to free the thralls on board, and the mass of grateful, smooth-brained fish people declared Windrider their new <laughs> god and pledged their service to him. Okay, this is good. Our plan worked, and the fish people will help us and not get us killed. <laughs> what dangers lie within the Illithid laboratory? Find out right now on Better Than Heroes! <laughs> Woo! Love it. Good They're job, Aaron. That Come. Ready? Dire bears. Are we in? Okay. So, Max. Uh, Jack Holt finds himself spending another day in this dark, abandoned laboratory. 
You can tell what it is. You can see tables kind of broken around you and, you know, bits of glass, kind of like beakers and different spell components flung around. And you've probably, you're not, you've kind of probably lost track of how many days you've been here now, but you know that you've getting close to uh, using all of your supplies, which includes, you know, anything you can kind of scrap from the moment here in this room and you're stuck here because you've been handcuffed of sorts kind of chained to this pillar that you're next to against the wall and um just hanging on here gotcha. and uh you hear the first sound that you've heard in weeks um before you were kind of left here surprisingly Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, you hear a voice. Um, in fact, it's a bunch of voices, and you just hear them go, The Sinker! The Sinker! All together. Um, and there's just a dim light kind of like coming toward you Uh-oh. from a staircase. So Uh-oh. if you want to, uh, it is your call here how you okay. think your character would react to hearing just a right. crowd of people kind of like yell in unison, but also, you know, this light coming toward you and you've been trapped here for a bit. Okay, I think what I think what I would like to do is I'd like to just start screaming the sinker, the sinker in unison <laughs> with them yeah. and start just like yelling it at that glowing light thing. That... You know what? I don't mean to editorialize here, but that seems like a great decision to make. <laughs> so, Pretty great. Awesome. Yeah. Great. I'm already starting off strong, guys. I'm already starting off strong. We love the so. sinker. <laughs> um, Sounds like it. All of a sudden, everything goes quiet. And crew, all of you surrounded by like maybe you know, 15, 20 of these fish folk who are just following flute. Andrew, the character that is Flute. Andrew, can you raise your hand real quick? Yep, yep, Flute. Um, They're just following you around and yelling the sinker uh, with you because you have sunk the ship that they were trapped in before here. And, um, but then you hear a voice cry out from this room ahead of you all that echoes their chant back. And you all can kind of tell me how you proceed. Are we inside the... The Not laboratory. Yet. Yeah, you're you're just walking down a staircase. Oh, okay. I'm, yeah, oh I'm gonna turn to to, to Dupa. I'm like, quiet. I told you. I told you. Silence. Just, what the hell? Silence. What the hell is that? Are there excited. fish people already here? We are excited. And they all say, yes, we are excited together. Tell them. Don't give us away. You've gotta go back. You can't go t- with us. Tell them um, to be excited quietly. Jack, you hear whispering. <laughs> All right, whatever's down I, beyond I, this staircase, we have to destroy it. I can't. <laughs> whatever's in the next room must be obliterated completely. I can't. I can't we be must sure. show no mercy. <laughs> no, now let's think this out. All right, no, you're right. I'm sorry. Uh, but we did I'm hear this like, echoing, it, right? I, yeah, oh, we yeah. heard What's an that? echoing voice from inside. Was, um, that, a natural, it's, was that a natural echo? I don't know. I don't know. I think no. I'm going. No. I'm going to send Besna. No, no. Ahead. I mean, I know. As I was asking, uh, my... uh, okay. <laughs> oh, you mean was it your fishmen? Was it the echo of them echoing back? No, I think that was full on, dude. <laughs> I think we've got what we call here in Spelljammer, some sort of a dude. <laughs> <laughs> I want Duh. to send my familiar flying down the stairs yeah, ahead of us to take a little scout. So Max, your character Jack just sees this uh, like glowing dot of like gold kind of like uh, moving around the room and kind of flitters over to you and you see a, a small mechanical hummingbird um, oh, with cool. just this like slight aura of light coming off of it. And it just kind of like flitters up to you. And um, if you would like to describe your character uh, yeah. to the crew, uh, I'm going to... So... Yeah, I go, mean, you know, go just, for it. Tell them about the hummingbird. I've, so I've just 
I've just now seen what my character looks like. I couldn't be so more stoked, but I have my <laughs> over here. Um, yeah, you can so, you can freestyle it between the two there. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my character is a young elf. He's like 200 years old, um, and he is six foot four. Weight. He's a skinny fellow. He's slender. He weighs 175 pounds. He's like really skinny, um, but that's because he's an elf. Uh, he's a Shadar Kai, so he's got gray skin and white hair. Um, and he has a giant, massive scar down the left side of his, down the left side of his body, and, um, you know, you guys wouldn't know what that's from, but that's something from his backstory, and, um, and, uh, that's, that's really, oh, his eyes, too, they're, he has no pupils, they're just, like, pale white, just all white. Hell yeah, um, it's, it's, not, it's up on the screen here. Uh, it great looks so good, I love Jordan. it so much. Yeah, it's incredible. Shatter so are cool. rad. Oh, <laughs> I had and, no idea. So and cool. he's got a gothic bracelet around his arm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so when he when he gets knocked out, his body doesn't go back to the shadow fell. Yeah, it goes back to his body because he feels pain. Jordan taught me that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, there we go. Yeah, you taught me that by selecting Shatter uh, Yeah, <laughs> nice. We're all learning something nice, about D&D nice. tonight. So, um, <laughs> yeah, Kai, you see this being um, kind of, you know, his bow kind of like thrown next to him on the ground, chained to the this pillar here. And, yeah, that's that's oh, what you see. Can I just uh, yeah. say one more thing? Yes. Um, so I'm also a ranger and a beast companion ranger. So uh, I have a giant toad. Or a yes. giant frog. <laughs> Absolutely. Because oh, I have a amazing. weird obsession with frogs, so I have a giant frog. Nice. nice. Man. Also, cha- also Best chained beast up. Companion I've ever heard. Um, yeah. Is he chained up, Harlan? No, I, I, I think he's. <laughs> I would say he's avoided. He's avoided uh, nice. any sort of capture by being an nice. unassuming toad. You know. Okay. Right. But and he's probably how you've survived as long down here as he's been like bringing you moss. <laughs> And like worms and stuff Bugs that and stuff. are keeping you alive, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. I mean, you can react in any way that you want, Jack, or your toad can react um, in any way that you want to to this hummingbird that is floating in front of you. Um, I mean, my first instinct was to have the toad eat the hummingbird. Oh yeah. Oh but. yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely. If you could roll an attack roll real quick, a d20, yeah. to just see oh, how this God. goes. I just want to. I just want to scream. That. I just want to scream at my toad like, eat it, Bessie. <laughs> oh, Bessie! No. Wait, Bessie's <laughs> eating Buster! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll just roll an attack Big roll for Bessie, him. Big Bessie, little Bessie. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> let me, roll a let d20 me and you can, add, attack your atta- you can add your attack modifier to it. Um, oh, okay, um, great, great. Just to simplify things. My attack modifier, okay, great. So yes, um, this small mechanical hummingbird so whose be, name is Bessner. It's going that would to be a 16. 16? That misses, that misses um, Bessner's armor class. He's fast. Oh, He's oh, fast as hell. Cool. Yeah, you see, you see the, the, the... I'm the, glad, ultimately. You, yeah. you see this big, Dang. long tongue of this giant toad flick out, and it sticks against Bessner for just a second, but its wings just... Oh, my goodness. Like, pull itself out. God, God, God damn it, Bessie. God damn it, Bessie. A little... <laughs> a little tool um, comes out of the... Uh, the side of the hummingbird and gives a little electric shock to the to the like toad's tongue. Like an R2-D2. <laughs> uh, no! What, what oh is my it? god, there's a giant toad! There's a toad in there! Oh, and a guy. There's a dude as well. I, I wonder what the relationship. I wonder whom belongs to whom. Um, Looks like a shadow elf of some kind. He tried to eat Besna! That's uh, the, toad, and the elf tried there. to eat Besna? No, no, it was listen, the toad. Stop. Okay, listen. What's he, what's he doing? Down there. He's chained up. Do you think we should help him? Well, okay, there it is. Of course he's chained should, up. I listen. I, I would have eat no best choice not, but to can. I would to eat best not the too. Hostile. If I'd been chained up, sometimes I think about eating best not when I'm not chained up. He looks delicious, well, and that's on you. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't know that until now. Well, listen. The point is, he's is anyone not, else want to eat best And, <laughs> and he's, he's in metal. Half the yes. fish folk raise their hand if they're with you. Yeah. <laughs> you see? Um, it, it looks regardless. Like he's alone. I think we should probably give him a hand. Yes. Yes. Is I there agree. anything else in the room? Did Bester yes. um, see anything else when he went in to pretty, this dark Bester's lab? 
Bester is pretty dis- distracted by Jack, the, sure. the shadow elf, and um, the yeah. toad that tried to eat him. Uh, but at this point now, you all are at the edge of the staircase, and the fish folk just kind of like plunge ahead in this room. A couple of them have created torches and are just kind of like poking around and investigating. Um, And if you look at the map here, you can see that there is just this uh, large open chamber. You can't see past the room that you're in. I know you can on the roll 20 map we have up, but right now you're just in this room. And the main light source of this room, besides the torches that these fish folk are holding, are these, you can see there are pink pillars throughout this room and they are all glowing with this just like pink, uh, glow throughout oh. them. It's kind of just like a spiral in and around, and uh, it's lighting up this chained figure here that you can see on the map um, on the pillar closest to you uh, right there in this room. So if you want to investigate it later, you absolutely can, but the most pressing thing in front of you is definitely this this living being. He's, he's this in the room that we're is, in right now. Is Fishball? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And he, um, yes, he is in the room you're in now. I will use Knocking chameleon out. carapace and um, just it gives me advantages on dex checks. Um, I'm gonna call Dupa over and be like, Dupa, keep your friends, keep your friends close. Gather, he says, closer. and all the fish folk, they, yeah, they all just like go like together in a like a school of themselves, just kind of like in a ball, like looking around, like. <laughs> Do, so they're, yeah, they're just together in this. do we have a token disaster. for the toad? I don't want to get swallowed. We, do, we don't, but I'm about to put a little orange token on okay. there to, to mark the toad. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the moon boy is going to uh, uh, lift off of the ground while casting the light cantrip due to his air moon boys. For those of you who don't know, the moon boy is sort of a little moon gnome. And... Um, he uh, floats up, and, uh, glowing as he does, and he comes over to Jack here, and he goes, Hey, man. Yeah, so... Uh, hey. <laughs> so you're, like, locked up in here. Who told you that? Hello. <laughs> Who told you that? Who told well, you that? I'd educated guess. It's... Listen, we'd like to, like... I mean, I think... I think we could let you free. It, we don't have any friends on this planet, so it's kind of an enemy of my enemy thing. But I want to make sure that you're not going to try to, like, <laughs> kill all of my friends or our fishmen or anything. You, are you that kind? Are you going to kill us all? Depends. It depends. Ooh, that's a cool answer. <laughs> that was a really cool answer. Okay, guys, we're dealing with a really cool customer here. Um... <laughs> He um can I can I kind of read read this guy, yeah a little absolutely. bit. Uh, I'll, I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna do so with uh, uh depends on on what. Uh, cool. So um, if uh, Jack, if you want to do a intimidation check, yes, um, you absolutely <laughs> can. And Moonboy, if you want to do an insight check, you actually uh, absolutely can. And tell me For what sure. the result is after you add your modifier to it. As they are doing, for those of you who are new to Dungeons and Dragons, they're doing t- contested checks where they're rolling a d20 and whoever gets the higher skill roll. I have a gonna... 17 on intimidation. I, I got a 14. Cool. Yeah. Um, All right. <laughs> I don't. I, can so, I just say, can I just say, like, yes. I'm a man of few words. Let me just put it that way. All right. Well, you're also sort of scaring the hell out of me <laughs> and uh i got to, i have to tell i have to tell you man i don't set people who scare the hell out of me free and uh you know we've got all the hand in this one do you want free are you maybe are you some kind of evil scientist is this an experiment <laughs> i don't know what a scientist is man but <laughs> i would like to be free you would li- you would like to be free. He says he wants oh, to be free. Oh, we should free him. But he's he's like frightening. Look at him. He's got Chris. Like I know, but he's got come that- on. As soon as he says that, I just want to like glare at. I just want to glare at. Um, who is this? Who's the warforged again? Yeah. Who's the oh, the warforged is Kai. Oh, yeah. Kai, right? I want to hey, glare at Kai. Okay. Oh. I just want to glare at uh, Kai. <laughs> you see? Uh, he is scary. He's terrifying. Clicker. But I mean, like. 
It's I know it's Maybe going to be. Maybe he's just misunderstood. I understand, Kai. It's going to be a pretty slow episode if we don't let him free. But right, that's true. <laughs> uh, Click is using don't chameleon carapace. Uh, so Click is a seven foot mantis woman warrior who carries a two-sided pole arm on one end is a large spike on the other end is like a crescent moon sickle uh, and she has a big big furry coat and a long cape behind her so she's going to come around behind jack and appear out of the darkness behind him and put the put the sickle to to his throat and say look you have two options you can stay right where you are and we'll just leave you or you can play nice and help us get where we're going. Hi. <laughs> yeah. I'm be we have no problem leaving you here. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. That's pretty terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see? How humanizing. I'm going to let him go. Does anyone object? I'm, I'm on my way. I'm doing it. Kai, uh, I'm an animated <laughs> suit of crazy arcane armor and uh, tools come out of my hands, very fine tools, and I would go up to the shackles and use my thieves' tools on them. For, oh, I'll check them for traps first. Anything cool. funny yeah. here? Anything going to, uh, you know, explode? Steal my uh, brain. <laughs> mention anything? There's not enough, uh, there's no like runes or anything you can read on them uh, for them to be trapped in any way but that would have been a good idea if I would have thought of that. Um, but you absolutely can roll uh, those those thieves tools to try and pick the lock because these are just straight up chains. All right. When Kai approaches to um, to uh, pick the lock, Click leaps back into the darkness 30 feet behind you. Yeah, just well, fully that's disappears. Click. <laughs> that's Click. My name is Kai. That's uh, so terrifying. <laughs> She's very yeah. scary. Better be careful around her. She's very nice. Um, Thieves' tools. I have rolled an eighteen. Yeah, click. They just uh, they very quickly just like pop open, um, and the the toad that is Jack's animal companion like leaps up in the air for joy from joy. How large is a giant toad? I forget. Um, Is it large or is it medium? Well, we're gonna oh, call this. Should, we're gonna call this bad on, boy. Find out. We're gonna call this bad boy a five foot square, unless I find out differently right now. Hang on, I, I got gotcha. you. I'm gonna. Uh, I'll, I'll beat you to it. Giant this toad is, quite is a, a large, large piece. Large piece. Large piece. All right. <laughs> large piece. Great. Whoa. So this let me is just, I, I just a specimen like, you have here. What? Uh, what's his name? The map here. I just want to like jump on top of Bessie and then just be like, Oh, Bessie. The name's Jack. <laughs> at your service. Oh, yes, your name as well. I was, yeah, mm mm-hmm. That makes sense. It should make sense to inquire your name first before the toad. He's some kind of of toad. Toad and I are equals. This toad has saved my life many a time. Yes. Yeah, I was. I, I'm totally imagining this toad like a like a big with big bulldog energy, and I really oh, like yeah. it. Oh yeah, massive <laughs> bulldog energy. We are equals too, aren't we, Bessie? Yes, we are. You are fantastic. <laughs> yeah, you just see, um, yeah, this this shadowy like milky white elf um, with this huge scar and a big old bow just jump on up this on this giant toad like it's a horse almost and just <laughs> some sort of toad rider i'm channeling my i'm channeling goodness. my inner i'm channeling my inner jiraiya and just standing on top of <laughs> yeah, cool. um, incredible how long have you been down here are you hungry thirsty gosh some i tea? think i lost track at day 100 maybe I i'm not too so sure sir over 100 days you lost track that's right I assume it was more than like a day ago that you lost track. Well, you lost track, so who knows? Perhaps. Perhaps. Maybe a couple hours ago. Maybe a few years ago. Maybe <laughs> a millennia ago. Whoa. Not too sure. That's wild. Who put, who I'll put bust you? out some food for our, for our friend here. Oh, yeah. Would you, can uh, I offer you uh, some crumpets or perhaps some scones, some cheeses? 
I didn't pre I didn't know we were going to run into any friends down here, so I didn't prepare anything really. But you don't happen to you don't happen to have any of those fish people on you, do you? <laughs> you see, there's this like crowd of them like tucked behind a table, like look like peek over all together worriedly <laughs> at that statement. No, of course not. Wait some. till wait till later. <laughs> <laughs> One of them's bound to stray off. One of oh, them will God. fall. It is certainty. <laughs> Ask him. Um, the, moon, the moon boy is kind of uh, is still kind of reeling from this intimidation check, and he sort of grabs a grabs a a crumpet out of uh, uh, Kai's chest and is scoffing it and eyeing <laughs> Jack suspiciously. And he's speaking more to Kai. He's like, "Who put him? Who put him here? Who put you down here? And why?" Good question. Yes. You know, um, I came down here on a mission, a very secretive mission. That's all about I can tell you, sir. That's all I can tell you. That's true. They have voices everywhere. They'll be here. The mind flayers? They're in the walls. They're all around us. They're in your brain. Oh, my God. Is that is kind of the deal. Can I um can I <laughs> just based on this, I I've been doing a lot of re the Moon Boy has been doing a lot of reading on mind flares, and he knows that they have a tendency to infect people, and when they do they get a little uh a little manic and a little off. And uh I think the Moon Boy is trying to see if uh if maybe this Jack, this shadow elf they've met, is perhaps some sort of a mind flayer hull. Yeah, absolutely. Go. Uh, you can do a Arcana or insight check. I would love to do an insight over my crumpet. Well, while he's yeah. doing that, can I have a look at this table that Click and I are standing uh, around? That's yes. a twenty-four. Um, I'll help him look. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> everything on the table is kind of uh, covered with dust. In strewn about, you can see the remnants of what seemed to be some sort of like huge explosion on the bottom uh, corner of this room in, in the map that you can see here. Um, the the table that you see is it has like bits of um, just kind of like scratch like like handwriting notes uh, in the book in a language you probably don't recognize. Um, there's like very moldy bits of what was probably used to be food, but is now more of dust. Um, you see a lot of pieces of um, uh, chalk and some coal on this table as well. And Moon Boy, you give Jack a good Moon Boy stare. Yeah, yep. While you're eating that biscuit, just <laughs> mowing down and giving him the, the intense eye as he sits atop his toad. Just this, like, is, this is a cowboy scene where the... He, as he, you all fi just, he, yeah. he finishes the biscuit and just starts eating part of his glove. He doesn't even notice. <laughs> um, and Sort of put another biscuit in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> Seamlessly. Um, you, you could tell he's um, a wild character, but... When you look at him, he looks back at you in a way that uh, makes him seem very reactive in a way that okay. beings that are possessed by mind players in some way are not. Sure, so. like the, the ones that we met on the ship were very, had a very specific uh, far away way yeah. of doing things. Yep. Hey, Har Harlan, okay. is it possible for me to check to see if he's, like, can I check to see his check? Like, if he's checking me out, yes. can I, like, yes. kind of observe that? Yes. Scrutin me. Awesome. Oh, I'm for 100%. sure eyeballing. Yeah. <laughs> Should I roll for that? Yes, roll a d20, and you're doing an insight check here. If the okay, moon boy is anything, it is not subtle. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 19. checking you out. Yeah, with, a, uh, with a 19, you look at him, and you can just, you can see, you see this whole moment happen where he's eating a biscuit and looking at you and starts chewing on his glove, and then you see Kai come over and put another biscuit in his hand, and he keeps eating it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, what, what are you feeling, Moon Boy? What does he see on your face in an earnest way? I like him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I know say, why, but I like him. I just want to say, I dig you too, man. 
You're a cool fella. Cool, man. Maybe we'll get to kill some monsters or something. This is my friend, the Wind Rider. He's pretty cool, too. I point to Wind Rider. I like the name. Yes, he, he... he made it up. He sort of gave himself his own nickname. It was we all went with it, but it was pretty, <laughs> pretty cringy. <laughs> I'm like looking at the table and pretending like I can't like hear it and like uh, just like over examining a piece of chalk. Uh, like I, th- I think I just want to say like the the less time we spend down here, the better. You start to go crazy. The only way I've made it out of here is because of my training. You got you've got. Crazy, like, brain training? You could say that. You nice. Could say that. <laughs> What's this, this This pink light well. coming off these pillars? Yeah, can I do, a, like, it's a like, check around the room? Just see, it's like, like, look at everything a little cautiously and closely. Absolutely. You can do a, um investigation check. Uh, Kai, you can do an arcana check. Um, if you right. want to flute, you can also do an arcana check. You can also give uh, Kai advantage on it if you'd like. This is and also like uh, fucking Kai advantage, <laughs> advantage on it. And then um, all this, all the while uh, this is happening, Moon Boy and Jack are just kind of looking at each other. Yeah. Brain um, training, huh? Sweet. That's I just critically failed. Oh no. <laughs> I, um, I have rolled a one at all least once every what? episode. For Again. The past, like what is five this? weeks. Uh, um, it looks like a barb, like a dumbbell or something, uh, uh, some weights on the ground. What's this thing? Uh, let, me, let me have the arcana checks first, okay. and then I'll 20, get there. 23. Um, 23. Uh, Kai, all of these seem to be fluctuating together as if they're connected, all of the pink dots you see on this map just seem to be like undulating together. Uh, the p- actual pillars themselves are not moving, but you see this light that is moving through them or it kind of like as they light up, uh, you recognize them as some sort of runes that are uh, magical energy is like pulsing through them. They are definitely magical. Um, and he was strapped to one, right? He was strapped to one, so it seems that like touching them isn't a problem. But there is sure. definitely magic uh, that is a part of them. Uh, While Click hmm. attempts to look around the room, she gets distracted by the pulsing pink light, and her bug brain takes over and is just drawn. <laughs> <laughs> click to click, the big no, one no. in the middle. Click, click, <laughs> click. And their, click. Our eyes are glowing come with on, this pulsing back. pink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, we lost her. This happens. Oh, no. She climbs over the table to get closer to the column okay. of light. It's nothing. Fine. It's nothing. Let, it, nothing. let her finish. Oh, Snap out of it. <laughs> yeah. I'll go over and turn a little knob on the omnipathy engine that's attached to the back of her head. Yeah. Snap her uh, out of it. Careful, Tal- she does. Tal- what do you, Tal- what do you snap name? her out of it with? Like a fly swatter or something? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you uh, shouldn't say that where jar. she can hear you. Yeah. <laughs> she eats elves. <laughs> She's done it. Uh, Talon, yeah, she hears the flies the... water. Ju- the the flies the flies joke snaps her out of it, and she whips around. And <laughs> the, which is What's... creepy because they're glowing pink, and she's would... hunched on a table. And... <laughs> <laughs> I would, I would like to uh, share this kind of information with Kai and the others. Just that, like, like he says. He says that just being down here is dangerous for us. He says the less time spent down here, the better. I believe it. But um, we have to go. What... F- we have to go in, right? I mean, uh, maybe we're getting we bombarded do. by rays right now. Maybe they're watching us. Maybe he's right. I think we should. They assume don't listen to reason, man. See? Oh, this is. We have this to get to a me. portal. Is this the radiation? Is it getting it's to a... me? I'm freaking out, man. Is there there's supposed another... to be a gateway down here. Have you seen anything like that? Oh, if there's radiation in this world, we've all taken a dose. Probably just being around like Kai. Over a hundred days. <laughs> uh, is there another door down here? Or is it, as far as we could tell, it's just a contained room? Um, let's have you do uh, an investigation check. And you can do so with advantage because Talon, the NPC who's with you, who's the other token on the board here, um, 
Jack, you can see here she's a, a human woman with kind of like uh, like bluish black, uh, very like coiffed hair, and she's got one big mechanical arm, and the rest of her body is just like an organic body. And she's uh, looks at you, flute, and she's like, you know, the whole thing is happening with this new cool elf, and she's just like laser focused on finding a way through this this room here. Well, I'll tell um, you who's not me uh, with advantage seven. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, you see a ladder right here. And ah. that's really the only like way you can find out of this room right now. Does it does it like go up or down? Yep, it goes straight up. And if you if you want to move your token over to it, you can't see anything. It just seems to go into the ceiling. But if you go stand under it, um, it, it seems. I mean, there is definitely like a place that it goes, but you can't really see where it. That leads. sounds like Let's a trap. I'll do it. Uh, thank you very much. Um, <laughs> <laughs> You Who do you see... think I am? <laughs> <laughs> Have you met me, Andrew? I threw three mind flayers at you at level seven last week or two weeks ago, right? Um, no, there's a. Uh, you see a metal trap door of sorts. It seems to be um, just like fully fused into the ceiling there. There doesn't seem to be any lock or anything, but it is clear that there's like a edge around it that you could go up if it was possible to open that door. Huh. Y'all ask Jack, like, Hey, friend, do you know where this trapdoor goes? What? Um, oh, that's me. I forgot I was Jack. My bad. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I do that pretty much like once every other game. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. I, uh, I think I remember coming down that way when I came into here. They took me down there. Can't remember what's up there, though. They get to you. Did I tell you that? They get to you. <laughs> Yeah. When they when they go deeper into this place, where do they go? Have you seen? They go to the eyes, to the brain, to the mother. Hmm. That's, that's oh, they like go everywhere. Are you sure they you wouldn't like something to eat <laughs> that isn't currently alive? Can I do like a? Can I check this guy out? And see if like he needs yeah. medical attention. Do an inside. Do an inside check again. I'm gonna shine a light into his eyes medical. and check his like. Can I do a medicine yeah. check? Uh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. All right, dirty twenty. Ooh. Okay. Um. With uh. With this, I mean, in in Max, I want you to kind of like. I don't want to tell what your character. I don't want to say what your sure. character is like. But I will say okay. that you have not left this room since you have entered the, here. And mm -hmm. so uh, you can kind of like be, you know, out of character, say to like cool. Aaron, why you think, like, what he, what is he perceiving that you are saying these things but have not left this room since you've been brought in? Um, he's definitely gone a tad crazy. Um, you can see it in his eyes. He blinks like maybe once every five minutes. Um, <laughs> and that's. He also doesn't our, have pupils. You rolled a 20 on that, right? You rolled a 20 yeah. on that? Okay, so. Uh, he, like, and that's probably because he doesn't want to miss anything that happens. He never sleeps, um, and when he does close his eyes, it's for, like, five minutes, because, and that's when he has his toad look out for him. Um, he also is, like, extremely messy right now. Hasn't showered, hasn't gotten up to, you know, you know. Yes. So he's, he's not looking great, and he smells pretty bad because he hasn't showered and everything like that. So he's just a mess right now, and sure. um, definitely had wounds, like, from a while ago that he hasn't had properly healed, so he's just kind of messed up, you know? We got to get this dude the hell yeah. out of here. Hmm. You've been keeping vigilant down here for a long time, haven't you? I don't sleep, man, because when they come down, I gotta see everything. I gotta see where they go. I gotta see where they leave. We're going to get you out of here. How's that sound? That sounds heavenly. I think we can do that. I'm going to <laughs> use the prestidigitation cantrip to sort of clean Jack up a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Sort of just like magic him up a little bit. Help him out uh, a little bit. Meanwhile, just so you know, when Jack is clean, he is gorgeous. <laughs> so he is I, I absolutely <laughs> gorgeous. Oh, we knew. We knew. I do it, and then I'm, like, Funny. shocked. I, I clean him up, and then I'm like, oh, my God. 
Oh Think of like Harrison Ford if he was an elf mixed with like the like slenderness of like a Timothy Chalamet type. He's like, and that is damn. That slender is Harrison Ford is a level, he's a level seven Harrison hunk. Chalamet. Yes, you are level seven hunk. hunk. You're like My a young sub, gold a ranger, Look at you, subclass hunk. <laughs> subclass hunk. He's a hunk ranger. Um, what, meanwhile, while they're discover while they're having this Wizard of Oz clean up hunkific hunkification moment, hunkification. Uh, the Moon Boy is going to go over, wander over to the corner, and touch this light. Uh, which one? The one in the far right corner. Yeah, cool. When you push your hand up against this pillar, you just feel a warmth, but nothing happens to you. Um, you you feel like this hum that's kind of like licking a battery. Uh, you know, if you were to ever do that, I've never done that. Um, and oh, Moon Boy. <laughs> he eats and batteries. I lick yeah. batteries for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, um, try it. And uh, yeah, so you, yeah, you feel this like deep, like just like thrum. Um, do I? Do and none of the other ones do anything? If you, I mean, if you want to go pick out another one to touch, you absolutely can. I, I'll shout out to. Uh, Click, mm. click, go mm. touch, touch that one. And I point to the one to my far left. Uh, she, yeah, she, she'll leap from the table and leap to a light that she has uh, broken the gaze from the main light and leaps to the new light. And she'll yeah. put all four tiny hands onto the, the little light. And I'll touch mine at the same time. Yeah, um, you feel it, it gets just like... A, you can almost feel click touching your hands um, when you touch it as if you're in the same spot. Um, and when you, you like look up for a second and you can almost like see each other for just a tiny little fragment of a second, like you're in the same place, like looking face to face, but then whew, uh, you're just back to where you are. I kind of look over at click and I'm like, was that, that was something, right? Felt like something. All right, Kai, we need an adult. Help. Hmm. <laughs> does seem like the energies in this place are connected somehow. Um, well, there's certainly a portal we nearby. blow it up. <laughs> I mean, that's not Can I look for... A... Someone's yeah. already looked for doors, but I want to take a look at the sort of mechanism of this room and around and look for any secret passages or mechanisms. Sure, yeah, shoot an investigation I'm... check. I'm honestly um, trying to use my video game brain to be like, is, are we supposed to be stepping on totally. pressure plates yeah, here? Like all, <laughs> all, all supposed to touch those at once? I, mean, I want to make five sure of that's us, not there's going five to... of these smaller lights. I just yeah. want to make sure that's not going to make the room fill up with gas. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we need gas. Can I? Uh, uh, we need gas. Uh, investigation? So, yeah, the only exit that we know about right now is this ladder that we know that Jack came down. Uh, right? Yes, there is debate. There, it's debatable whether he came down or not, but... Um, sure, yeah. Yes, yeah. Mm. Can I climb up the ladder and very cautiously and quietly see if it, if the trap door opens? Yeah, absolutely. Um, okay. What was your investigation check? 15. 15? Um, yeah, there, se there definitely seems to be a door built into this wall that kind of like... like it's just a a stone block, but you can see where it would maybe slide. Again, there's no real keyhole or handle or anything, um, but you can go investigate that. But first let's have a, a flute. Uh, can you do a, um, what do, what do you think you're doing here? What do you, how are you approaching this door? I think it'd probably be either Constitution stealth. saving throw. All right. <laughs> yeah. uh, sleight of hand, you know, just to like, I'm just. Yeah, let's have you do sleight of hand. I'm, I'm more wanting to see if the door is unlocked than, than actually open it. Um, all right, not the worst. 23. Uh, 23. With a 23, you feel that the door is, when you kind of like test it for traps and kind of like push around, it doesn't seem to be trapped, um, but you kind of like clink uh, against it as you push up. You can feel that there's like a bolt or something on the other side here. And when you push up, uh, and come back down once, there's like a metal clink. And when you push up and come back down again, it has a softer, like, squelch to it. Oh. Oh, big uh, squelch. Can I... <laughs> uh, do I have any frame of reference for this squelch at all? 
Yeah, it sounds like um, uh, it sounds like hair gel being pushed under a piece of cardboard. Uh, sound I know well. <laughs> <laughs> a familiar sure. sound uh, of well-oiled cardboard. <laughs> yeah, I'll kind of uh, slide down the ladder and like that trapdoor's locked, but there's something squishy up there. And as you say that, and you look up, you see just an ooze start to drip on, e- like, all four edges of this. Uh-oh. Very uh, unfortunate. Janice? Block. Uh, yeah, I'll move away as quickly <laughs> as I can. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Sure. I just want to scream, they're back! They're back! <laughs> what? What? Who's no, back? what? Oh, God. How big, how much Oop. ooze is coming in? Um, you can't see it. No one can see it right now. You can't see it unless you're in this four square right okay. here. Okay. Oh, I'll holler I'm, out and be like, oh, I have no idea what's news, happening. There's a news coming down. Yeah. The moon boy at that, seeing that they're in danger, is going to um, kneel down and place his hand on the ground and uh, begin to mutter in moonish and conjure some elementals from his dream. Um, takes you a minute, right? Yeah, bro. Um, okay, you can get, uh, you, you can get, um, most of the way through that. I'll say it takes three rounds for you to conjure them, um, but because as that is happening, this, you just see, like, it's, like, snot dripping from the ceiling here. You know what? Fuck it, you can just have the elementals. I don't know why I'm <laughs> litigating this so much, as it's a very slow drop. As you, you. Just, like It just looks at, like... Uh, beams at first of just ooze just like dropping down and coagulating and they all but they all start to form up uh, in this very perfect square as they drip down and you can all just see this happening um, and you see a very large ooze just kind of like form itself up here and with that I would love us to all roll initiative here entering combat also, Ooh. Ooh. also, I can uh, I can coming. allay your fears. I uh, already swapped out summon elementals for conjure woodland beings, which only takes an action. So I'll just do that as my first turn. No fears right. there. I was just doing no math slowly, and I'm sorry. No worries. Um, cool. Um, twenty-one. Thirteen. Okay. That is a twenty-one. All right. Look at that. And then who got a thirteen? Okay. Nice. Good dramatic stop there, Jason. Uh, shout out to Jason Wardell. In case you are new to our stream, we have a live soundtrack that is provided by Jason Wardell. He's amazing. Ow. He's just making this up the whole time. Listen to us and play and send. So, um, so I need I need flute in Moon Boy. Fifteen. Nine. Nine. All right. Um, cool. All right. Well, that's going to first bring up here at the top of the combat... Um, Jack and Click both go at the same time. So one of you all can pick and go first. You can go ahead. Uh, okay. I will... My movement speed is 40. This ooze token is incredible. Thank it's, you. It's real cute. Oh, I got a You know who made it? it Was it you? Did you make it? Andrew Orbital. Oh, ah, yeah. He did, the art, he did the art for this ooze. Oh, I love it. Easiest awesome. enemy uh, art in the game, baby. I, <laughs> um, I am going to uh, run along in in the dark and sort of crouch behind this table, and I'm going to pop up, and I am going to take a uh, longbow shot at this uh, ooze. Whoa. I don't have my I don't have my chatkacha. Oh boy, that's, that's right. right. She threw it down on the ground. Yeah. So, we're, uh, yep. I love that so much. Um, so, we that's are right. longbow in it here. Kind of Sorry to interrupt. No, no, she has no idea. Um, so, she, she t- ducks behind the table and will pop up and shoot a longbow shot at the ooze. Absolutely. That we'll let D20. Is a 17 to hit. Okay, that absolutely hits as you see this this arrow just into this now uh, just like perfectly square 
um, ooze that has formed itself here, and you see the arrow go through it, and you just see the whole thing ripple in a way that is, it's clearly in pain uh, in um, some way. Nice. She is going to use uh, uh, a little extra, so, so Click is a psionic knight, so she's going to use a, a little extra force magic to push the arrow through the air and do an additional uh, d8. Absolutely. This Go time, for it. so we're going to, rolling for damage is 2 and 6 plus 7, so just 13 on that. Alrighty. 13 damage this one. Go for it. And so, yeah. I have a second attack, and she's going to do the same thing. Just stay Go. tucked behind this table and uh, take a shot. Pull, shoot that, that shot. One, super doesn't hit. <laughs> yeah, so uh, yeah, as it's kind of like wiggling and moving in this form, it's almost like hard to tell where it is. And it just, when that second arrow comes through, it straight up just like pulls itself to the side and the arrow flies through and it dodges. And I, uh, it's hard to see it where an ooze looks, but it definitely seems to like reorient itself toward you after being shot at by you. Mm-hmm. Um, so cool, is that your uh, turn? You wanna move anywhere? That is my turn, yeah. All right. Um, so, Jack, you're going to be up now. You see this ooze uh, drop down from the ceiling, and you see Click, the Torqueen fighter, this huge bug lady, shoot uh, her bow at it. So it's your turn now. Awesome. So I'd like to do Hunter's Mark on that ooze. Absolutely, you can. Um, I looked up some tutorials on how to play Ranger, and they said always Hunter's Mark. So Absolutely. Yep. That's what I'm doing. Always Hunter's Mark. Nailed it. Um, Max, you can so come I'll- back anytime. <laughs> um, how do I uh, how do I point to where I want to move? Um, you can hold down your mouse here, and it does like a little ping. You can also you should be able to move just move your token. Oh, I bet you can't, but oh, you're cool. about to be able to. Hold on. Oh. Um, you yeah, you can now just move your token wherever you, wherever you want, and I can kind of I know that you have 30 feet of movement, so I can kind of like cool. do this measure thing for you as well. Oh. Does Bessie have an action yeah. too? Mm-hmm. Sweet. My roll 20 has been kind of slow, so I'm not sure if I'm doing this right. So why don't yeah. I ping where I want to go? Yeah, go I for th- it. I think the pet goes after. There. Did oh, you see it? shoot. Um, oh, wait, hold on. I, let me do it again real quick. You should be able to move it now. I'm sorry, I messed that up. There you go. Yeah, you absolutely can move there. Move back behind that table. Cool. I'll just move them right here. Perfect. Um, awesome. So I would like to longbow shot at this okay. uh, at this ooze. So I'll roll the hit on that, right? Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Roll that d20 and tell me what you get. 19 plus 6, so 25. That hits. And then it's 1d6 plus 2 and then another d6 from Hunter's Mark, right? Yes, that's absolutely correct. So you can just roll both awesome. of those together. Cool. Uh, three and six plus all right. two. So three and six plus two. So my brain's 11. fried. I've been in school all day. So that's 11. <laughs> yep. um, this is the so only 11. math I can do. So just yeah, like, okay. <laughs> truly. I have been doing. I got straight A's in D and D. Nice. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's 11 on the ooze, and then I guess that's that's my person's turn, but then it's Bessie's turn, right? Yeah, absolutely. Go for it. Cool. Bessie has this really cool move. Um, I would like her to... Uh, Be cool if she could just eat it. To do swallow, yeah. <laughs> Asking you um, shall receive. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. So the frog makes she one bite her. attack against a. Sm- oh, is it not? Is the wait? Hold on. How big is the ooze? It's a large creature. Ah! Okay, then it can't swallow it. No. It's gotta um, be small. Okay, so I'll just, I'll just do bite then. Um, okay. Cool. Yuck. So, uh, <laughs> she's uh, she's hungry. Hey, hey ooze yeah. bite slime. I just want to scream like, Bessie, go for it. Um, and um. have the have the thing jump right in front of right in front of these. Yeah, she just, then, no problem, just like leaps over there and just whooms down in front of this big ooze and it's gonna take energy. a, yes. <laughs> and it's gonna take a big old frog bite out of her, so roll the, uh, the we'll ooze. Energy. So, BD. We'll let you oh, I dropped my die. No. 
It's okay. Um, Reroll. That is a. Ooh, that's a. 19. Bongo. 19? Absolutely gonna hit. As Bessie, the giant toad, just reach, uh, reaches over and it's like an ice cream scoop into this uh, <laughs> ooze as she just takes a big chunk of it and goes, boom, sit down. Oh. So roll for that cool. damage there. 1d6 plus 1. Yikes. So 5. Uh, all right. Yeah, 5 then, damage. And then also, the creature is grappled. Oh, boy. The escape is a DC 11. Okay. Um, and <laughs> until the grapple ends, the target is restrained, but the frog can't bite another target. Great. Okay, Can cool. I not grapple an ooze? <laughs> it's <laughs> so funny to, to like, <laughs> hold Just an ooze the... down. Ah, sure. <laughs> Hey, so an ooze. Hey, the frog it. can do many yeah. things. It's yeah. great. I, I take back the ice cream scoop metaphor, and this is more like a vacuum uh, when you oh, like, put it, it on your like side, you sure. know, as the, the the toad is just very good, yeah. Mowed down on this ooze, oh and it just has its full like mouth open, holding onto it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, you see this ooze stuck in the the toad's mouth here. Please, um, tell, please tell me somebody uh, clipped that so we can put it on <laughs> Harlan's timeline. <laughs> yeah. <It's>, yeah. <laughs> um, so glad I get to the frog. Yeah, <laughs> Frogs seriously. Really good. Me too, Max. Um, it's now going to be the uh, ooze's turn, as oh, no. it's going oh. to. Uh, you see this just like big, almost like tube come out of its side and smack. Bessie on the head here. No! 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 Bessie, no. no! Don't worry, I rolled a natural one. Oh, um, let's go! No. <laughs> oh, away. Yeah! Bessie! 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 Um, so with that, I think the Gillette, uh, this, this ooze is just gonna smash itself as it's trying to smash Bessie. It just like splats itself. Uh, uh, away here, and it's gonna do a d6 of damage to itself, which was a five. Um, so you just see this like splatter around it as it's like stop hitting yourself. Uh, <laughs> I love to see it from the toad. And so, yeah, that's gonna be its whole turn. Um, <laughs> it, it makes a saving throw, right? Uh, it does not because it used its action to attack oh, instead of okay. uh, trying to break the grapple, so it's stuck there, um, which nice. is gonna bring up Moon Boy. Okay, so the moon boy looking over and um, seeing all of this going down, seeing all of the pets on the field, uh, seeing Bessie land this ooze like so much macaroni salad, uh, he figures that uh, things are pretty much... He, he looks over, he's like, whoa, and he stops casting his, his summon pet spell, and instead I am going to burst into light, I will jump into the air uh, and do a sweet Sailor Moon twirl as I uh, <laughs> illuminate with uh, Moonic moon constellations and hurl a guiding bolt at the creature, a blast of moon fire. Yeah. <laughs> Shall we say? Yeah, so Jack, you just see this like tiny little pale gnome like fully encompassed in this white light and a big old bolt come of energy comes out of him. So shoot that guiding bolt and see how okay, it goes. Okay, um, that's a 25. Uh, wow. That'll hit. How, could it, yeah, you hit with guiding bolt. I feel like that all the time. <laughs> um, okay. he, he, he tuned it up. He's, he's been hitting with it. Yeah, yeah. It's, been, it's been doing all right. So um, this is going to be 4d6 radiant damage. I don't know if that matters. Cool. It'll take that full damage. Far out. That's going to be nine damage off of that. The next hit after following my turn will have uh, advantage on that attack. What a crappy damage roll. Whatever. Uh, Surprise. An additional uh, blast of moon fire. Kind of vol a volatile ray blasts off of the moon boy and lashes out at this creature with a, um, ooh, not so good. That's gonna be a 13 to hit. Uh, that does not hit. All right, yeah. that is going, thus ends the Moon Boy's turn. 
Yeah, it's kind of like focused on you after that, that bolt hits it, and even though it still has part of its body stuck in the mouth of this giant toad, it still it manages to wiggle its body out of the way of that last little hit at it. Uh, oh, what a little twerp. I'm going to uh, sort of fly over, uh, put myself between this, this table between me and the, uh, the ooze. Okay, absolutely. That ends my turn. Great. Um, well, it's funny that you did that because right as you step over there, um, I would love you, Flute, and Click to all do perception checks, and uh, let me know if anybody <laughs> gets. Let me know if anybody gets above a fifteen. Sixteen. Uh, uh, perception uh, check. It's a dirty twenty. Okay, Ooh, Click. So as 16. you. Okay, cool. You all both notice um, as Moonboy flies over there. There's just this kind of like. Uh, slither on the wall for a second and you see out of um, in the same way that those kind of like snot bits trickled out of the door above from this door that Kai you noticed before uh, you see more of these like snot bits oh no just pull themselves from out under the door and form themselves up in this perfect square right here again um, and it's just moving toward the moon boy um, I did not see it. I rolled an I rolled a natural one. Oh no, and it's right behind you. Okay, cool. I'm gonna give it advantage then, and because I never do that, and that's gonna this be is... a. I think uh... These look like killer hankies. <laughs> 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 I, if I knew they were gonna shape up in cubes, I would have made them cubes. I didn't. Um, <laughs> that's gonna be a 16 to hit. Uh, please take uh, a d6 and remove it from that. Oh boy. Do a I get to ray, roll it? A ray of moonlight nudges the creature. Zap! As Do I, I get to roll a d6? My reaction. Yes, you may. Ooh, I got a five. Down so, to 11. That is going to not hit me. Can I just, just for flavor, can I say that, like, you don't notice this. Uh, your two compatriots kind of turn, and when you turn, you see this tiny little flying gnome and this huge ooze just, like, <laughs> leaning over it. And Moonboy, you hear in your ear from your hat, you hear, um, the moon say, behind you. So if, Aaron, if you could do the moon's voice. Behind you, moon boy. As moon boy has a, to has a moon so that unsettling. lives inside of it. Yeah. <laughs> That, moon Boy has a little uh, has a big moon that lives inside of his hat, and um, when you when you hear that, you, you turn around and there's just this huge ooze cube leaning over you, and you're ooze able to cube. dodge out of a way as like this again like a tube comes out of it and tries to grab you. Nice. Um, Look out, Moon Twelve. <laughs> moon Twelve. I we need fan art of Sailor Moon Boy this week. <laughs> Sailor Moon Boy. <laughs> Sailor oh we no! I saw we that need in it. the chat. Oh I saw no! I, we I talked about it. And we've talked about it in previous episodes because you do oh, this really? twirly star form thing. But <laughs> yeah, I, I want oh Sailor Sailor Moon Boy art for sure. Yeah. yeah no okay. art request can, from me, Jordan. Next that can happen. <laughs> I would love to Amazing. see a Jack Holt Sailor, just a whole team Sailor, Sailor, <laughs> yeah. Sailor Mars, Sailor uh -huh. Holt, <laughs> Sailor Holt. <laughs> um, okay, cool. And uh, like definitely has like the big pigtails, but they're feathers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Next week on Better Than Sailor Moon. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's gonna be Kai's turn. All right, Kai's turn. Kai steps forward, and uh, from his one of his shoulder pauldrons of his armor that disassembles, and from it emerges an arcane cannon with swirling beads of light around its center. And he, which one was hit with the guiding bolt? Uh, the, one, the one that came the, through the trap. The first one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Kai will take his first shot at uh, that guy with his arcane... Oh, well, first I will cast uh, arcane weapon on my arcane obliterator, so it draws out energies from uh, the surrounding area and infuses with extra energy, and Sweet. then I will take my shot at him. Okay, with absolutely. Advantage, yeah. right? head, yes, so absolutely. Cool. Yes, this is Run that d20. Ooh. At 19, so close. Um, so, 
29. All right, with a 29, that still hits. Don't worry. Yeah, that's still pretty good. <laughs> For those of you new to the stream, a 19 is Aaron's critical <laughs> fail. So. <laughs> I get all the ones and threes. <laughs> There's this rule about dice that Andrew, I mean, Aaron is only allowed to roll them very high. It's a weird mm. math thing. Well, yeah, yeah. He's 20s beloved and ones. among dice. 20s and ones. 20s and ones, baby. Um, all right. So the ooze is going to take 17 points of force damage. Oh. And did, you roll, did you roll twice? Advantage? On to hit. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Did you? Okay, I was just making sure. Yes, you yes. That that's why the night. That's why I was upset about the nineteen. I was hoping for. Ah, uh, I'm a dingus. Go ahead. Yeah. On the, I'm not that much of a monster. Classic D and D. Oh shoot! So, I didn't get the highest possible roll on the dice. Yeah. So well, I'm here to win. Seventeen. <laughs> Seventeen points of force damage and an additional one point of fire damage. All right, cool. It takes all 18 of that damage. Boom, but he's still right. up here as uh, I'm going he's to just shoot still in the, the toad's game. mouth and just just like you just burn off a huge chunk of it. So roll that d20 for your second shot here. All right. That is a 25. Uh 25 hits. Look at you. Yes. Just rolling fine. Also, jeez. Oh, Ah, forget it. <laughs> yeah, see, no Max, this is this is what I have to deal with. You were talking about how in your game, how you you've got an item that makes you overpowered. I, Aaron, Aaron's item is yeah. rolling high constantly. Yeah. <laughs> He's oh charmed. My God, my fire mace the item. just shreds through everybody. Yeah. <laughs> just you hear that, guys? Fire no fire mace. You don't get any fire mace. But no I fire want mace. one. My D and D, Dylan Bradley, Whoa. he made the mistake of giving me a fire mace. He regrets it to this day. As, as as soon as you leave, ne like next week, we're all gonna be like, I want a fire mace. <laughs> Kai, make me a fire mace. Each of we've, us. We've heard about it, and we want. Kai, it. four <laughs> fire maces, please. <laughs> we'll be unstoppable. Totally. What'd so, you get? We go uh, fifteen fire points of force damage <laughs> and an additional. Uh, one point of fire damage. Um, with this, there's a large explosion as it hits it, and it breaks off enough of the uh, ooze here for the remainder of its body to just be scarfed down by Bessie the Giant yeah. Toad. <laughs> so you just like yes. blow off its last like anchor to the ground, and Bessie the Giant Toad just very good. Oh, oh, it into, oh, into oh, like oh, manageable oh, pieces. Ma just yeah, turn enough. it into yakitori. <laughs> Yeah. I will step forward and sort of get between the moon boy and the suit. I can't actually get between them, but I will okay. stand next to the moon boy and try to shield him and, um, with my metal body. I don't know if toads are immune, giant toads are immune to um, the damage that this ooze would cause, but I'm saying that it uh -oh. is because as it chugs <laughs> it down, it just absolutely, you just see this like burp Chucks from it. it and it's just like, nice, nice. Yeah. Chug ooze, Bessie. Question, um, <laughs> hey Harlan, I think I might have missed it. What are the what are the anim the other enemies? What are they? They're again? all oozes right now. The, They're the, all the, okay, cool. Yeah, one, one of them died, which I'm gonna get off here right now. Um, that that Bessie bad. just yeah. swallowed, and this one is up, but oh, is uh, yeah, is also not used to the roll twenty thing. My bad. It's okay. So did, um, d Andrew, did you open the trap door right under an ooze? <laughs> I didn't even open it. Yeah. I just like, is this locked? And there was like an ooze like sleeping on it or something that was like, <laughs> hey! Nice. It's All right, so that was pretty so quiet. Good. I got a 23 on my, on my sneak attack, anything. so. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, your, your sneak attitude helped you from being attacked immediately. So, <laughs> you, you did succeed. From getting oozed. Yeah. Yeah. I will say, uh, our, our producer case can vouch for it. I literally said before the stream, yeah, so if they touch this door, an ooze is going to attack them. <laughs> um, great. So that is going to bring up... Um, Here, this is a trap. Let's see. Oh, trap! <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Called it. Yep. Um, <laughs> this, the pile of fish folk is going to be led um, by uh, one of them who is not Dupa. Uh, it seems to have, like... An eye. One of the fish folk has an eye patch on, 
and he's like, oh, uh-huh. and they Sweet. all, um, French fish folk. Nice. Oh <laughs> my god. Oui, oui, monsieur. Compliment. Nice. Les poissons, follow me. And they're gonna move <laughs> over here. Uh, no, so we- they're gonna go move over here behind you, flute. And they're just gonna like look at you for direction. They're like, "What shall we do?" <laughs> and the one eye patch one who is now French, I guess. Um, yes. It's like, "Oh, sir, what do we do?" <laughs> uh, do I have to wait uh, for my turn no, to respond? No, you can tell them. Okay. What, what kind of weaponry do they have? Any? They all kind of have just like uh, mostly just like uh, spears that seem to be whittled. Okay. Harlan, what's know... the French fish folk's name? Primitive species. Um, sorry. Poisson. I just Poisson. the other one's name is like Oopa Doopa Loopa, so I'm excited uh, to hear Doopa what Plupa the. Scoopa. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. there's one more. Uh, yeah, this one is Flon Scoopa Hufa Smoofa. Without writing that one down. Uh, okay. I am. So. Wow, if there were any French people on this stream, let's just safe to say they're all gone by now. Yeah, or so they're sorry. wowed by our wow. incredible dialect. <laughs> I'm just saying, I think I'm it is the French fish people school, who would be offended. I think my I think my dialect is pretty, yeah, the fish people. <laughs> if you're a fish person but watching, we're sorry. We apologize. Mm. Um, apologize do I know right anything on. about oozes? Is, are these like a common occurrence, or am I, have I never uh, seen this before? Roll a history check real quick. Great. Sorry. It's okay. It's not a hard uh, I got a 21. 21? Uh, these are what are known as the, the, the specific form that they take. Uh, you've recognized it from some of your plundering days, and these are gelatinous cubes. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They are specifically like a type of ooze that wants to engulf you and right. devour and like devour you. Yeah. Yeah, I'll Get tell these fish folk like with you. Seems stay, stay, stay out of its reach and throw your spears at it. Uh, they all go, they all salute you at one time with both hands. They're like, uh, and, um, drop great their signs. Yeah. <laughs> Stab oh, themselves. <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> uh, they all say, yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they say, um, yes, sir. And they are going to cast spiritual weapon, uh, Whoa. from that. And so a large, from that, they all kind of like take moves. their spears and throw them, and most of the spears just like miss or bounce off or get decayed. But after they throw it, this like one, uh, just a glowing blue spear forms itself and is going to um, try and attack it here. What? And as okay. they seem to have, be, like, as they all want to please you and impress you, um, have formed some sort of spear out of magical energy here and that that's gonna Whoa. hit and so they are going to do a right. they're gonna do nine <laughs> points of damage. You? Oh well um, okay. <laughs> with their nuclear weapon? Go off kings, whatever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that rules uh, nuclear fish weapon. <laughs> yeah. Also I just checked in the chat and uh shout out to uh Shaga for Maurice Le Poisson is the, <laughs> there you should, go. should be the name. <laughs> Yep, uh, that's canon. Good job, chat. Thank you very much. I'm writing it down in uh, Maurice Le Poisson. But um, just so you know, that's all one word, just canonically. <laughs> Maurice Le Poisson. Yeah. yeah. Um, except for one of the fish folk who is going to uh, try and stab you, flute. So if you could um, tell what? me what your AC is, that would be great. What? Uh, uh, it's 16. It is, it is specifically Maurice Lapasson. Whoa! Who, who tries to stab you, and it, it has this, like, small carved knife, and just smashes against your armor and doesn't work, and he looks up at you like, oh! Um, and, I mean, like, you know that. That happens at the same time. Um, just dumb? Uh, Fluke can find out on his turn. Um, Goddamn fish beat. Maurice... And God, <laughs> this is what we get for naming you, Maurice. You've become yeah. a you've become a PC. I, I wrote down <laughs> Maurice Limpousson, and then I said French fish, and just added traitor question. <laughs> <laughs> Bastard. These notes are gonna be insane. He's had such a speedy character arc. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Yeah. He's here. And he's a like, He's I a master. You. And it's about what to end. What like, so... whole backstory though, where he like is trying to overthrow the mind player, and he just sings songs <laughs> right? from Les Misérables. Like, just, like, <laughs> yeah. Do you hear the beat? The fish sing, singing the songs of Angus. Nice catch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's like, Very yeah, he, he was this close from saving them all in the first place, and then Windrider came along and ruined the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, next up is going to be Talon, who is going to, um, I think she's going to save her spell slots and um, just move over here. This NPC, she's going to move over here and one, two, three, four, three, four, five. Um, six, and she's going to throw a dagger at this gelatinous cube, and that's going to definitely hit. And she's going to do four points of damage, or uh, six points of damage, seven, seven, seven points of damage, and that's the end of her turn. As she kind of just like moves over there and kind of like looks conspicuously at it, and after that, um, from over uh, here. The use. I need. Uh, let's. Uh, Max, can you do a perception check for Bessie the Toad? Yeah. Uh-oh. And then um, I oh think God. that's it. I think oh it's only no. Bessie the Toad. Should I? Should I? <laughs> it should just. This I should just like... use her. Her stat. She doesn't have a perception modifier, so I shouldn't okay, add cool. yeah. anything to it, right? Correct. Yeah. This is okay, just cool. instant ooze karma. Uh, seventeen. <laughs> Seriously. 17? All right. With a 17... Um, Keen-eyed toad. You see a... Uh, that's great. Yeah, that's that's good. Um, you see... She sees, after, like, swallowing and, you know, enjoying her meal of this ooze, kind of, like, crawl up and out of this mantle that is here. It's, like, almost a stage. You see ah. this big, large... Uh, what you think at first is maybe a she thinks at first is maybe a crab but then you quickly see a stinger come out over oh, here and point at the Ooh, top Jeff here. Ooh, Jeff at this one. Whoa! Yeah! Look Amazing. at this! Look, Look at, at all the art! Really? And you see a, yeah, a see big, it. right here on the map here, you see this giant scorpion um, pull itself out of, of this oh, space no. and just kind of like come <laughs> clicking toward Bessie, and let's see if it can get over there. I'm pretty sure it can. Yep, sure can. And it just scuttles over here and is going to take one attack. Uh, it's gonna, What's Bessie's AC? Hi, Bessie. Um, let me see here. Let me see. Um, 11. Um, oh, okay. It hits. Uh, on this oh, oh, no. So it hits with the, it hits with the second claw attack, too, and then it's going to take oh. a sting attack at it as well. Oh, oh. Bessie. Uh, that's gonna be park. a natural one. Um, oh! So I'll give um yeah yeah. So I'm gonna let's see. So it does two, two, both of its claws just kind of like smash into the size of Bessie, and um it seems Bessie is now grappled by this thing, um as it does, uh four or twelve points of damage to Bessie. Um, can you keep track of that, Max? Yeah, you got the yeah I got gotcha. Okay, cool. Uh, and then, so Damn, you write it down. You hear, you hear just a, uh, and that you see oh. Jack as Bessie is just like pinched uh, by this scorpion, and the stinger comes down and just breaks off against her hide, oh. so it's no longer gonna have its stinger attack as it breaks. Oh. Oh. Bessie, 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 Bessie. Bessie. <laughs> um, awesome. And with that. We're going to go ahead and take a quick break right before flu turn. <laughs> as we're at 9, almost at 9.30 here. Uh, we got a big, long combat order. And, um, yeah, we'll be back real quick. We're just going to take a quick break. Um, we're going to drink, pee, and then we'll be back in just a second. So uh, thanks, everyone, for hanging out. There's so many new people here tonight. Thank you all for yeah. coming and checking out our games. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Um, totally been seeing the chat, and I see some familiar names like Joel and Louisa and a lot of other people. Bronwyn. I'm so stoked. A lot of yeah. Yeah. Joel, Louisa, a lot of them. Welcome, y'all. You get you, you see your boy pulling some clutch moves here. Clutch yeah. moves. Yeah. And we'll be it's back all, in just a second. Bessie, yeah, we'll be back in just a second to see <laughs> if... 
Yeah, that's sick. Bizarre point. I kill a pet or not, we'll find out. So, um, all right, no. Chase, get us out of here.
Okay, so we're coming right back to the action here. A giant scorpion has come out of the, uh, this kind of mantle here on the side of this abandoned, decrepit laboratory. Um, an ooze has come out of the wall. An ooze has fallen down from the ceiling that you've already defeated. Uh, <laughs> but right now, Bessie the Toad, this giant toad, is in the pincers of a giant scorpion that has seemingly come out of nowhere here and has broken off its back stinger, but it, it, the scorpion still holds it in its claws. And it is now Flute's turn here. All right. So if you want to... Take I don't want to. I don't want to waste my here. turn on this punk, this fish punk. Uh, I'm gonna say to uh, uh, Dupe after <laughs> this uh, fish almost stabs me. I'm gonna be like, "Hey, Dupe, get what's what's going on here? Come get your bro. Get, <laughs> can you get him? Can you get him under so Zang, control? Get boy dog. <laughs> Come grab your boy. What's yeah. happening here? Talk to your man's. <laughs> Dupe looks over and goes. <laughs> Whatever the name was. <laughs> Maurice <laughs> Maurice Le 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 Thank you. There we go. That's it. it translates beautifully to that. And he goes, what are you doing? And it looks at you, flute, and fish can't smile because they don't really have teeth. But it looks at you and it goes, your body's mine now. And uh, it just Whoa. starts like moving towards you with a weapon. Uh, perhaps happening? waste your turn on this. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Perhaps kick this fish's tail. <laughs> uh, yeah, when when Dupa fails to uh, uh, rein him in, um, my my remaining eye occludes black. It becomes solid black as I like inhale, like, and uh, I reach out my hand, and this like miasma of like black and green energy. Uh, coalesces around it, and I fire at, it, at him, casting Ray of Sickness at the third <laughs> level, and I'm Whoa. gonna need him to make a constitution yeah. saving okay. throw. Smoke <laughs> this fish! Ray of Sickness! Uh, smoked tuna! Yeah. Ooh, wah, wah. Do it, Aaron. Do it. <laughs> yeah. I was ahead of you! I beat he you! He did it without prompting! That was Boy, that good. really... He's was always say, geared up. You Yours know me too ready. well. Eurus is Andrew, always available for that. I am not some doll whose string you pull. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stop I am being an funny. Figure. Stop being funny. I have D and D okay. to do. What's that? I'm a gender toy. I got a nine. Okay, then you'll be taking. Um. Uh, you'll be taking 21 points of poison damage. Good yeah, God. Okay. I'd just like um, to note how little prompting it took for Flute to go full. Oh, yeah. To yeah. just melt, melt the flesh. Yeah, from this guy's already so right? annoying, and now this is trying to stab me in the heat of this battle? Not cool. He was cool. annoying, That's so a terrible I melted time him in front of his friends and family. Yeah. Yeah. So I melted him. <laughs> His entire get your boy. Me. Life. Do just not. immediately, instantly Yo, go dog. all Raiders of the Lost Ark on him. <laughs> Max gets it. Um, okay, so yeah, this big green ray just comes out of Flute's eye. The whole party kind of sees this because it lights up the room with green for a second, and you just see it slam into one of the fish people, and it straight up Raiders of the Lost Ark. It just melts. No. You see it like <laughs> it barks just... out. It's interior. It just this like it like turns itself inside out almost. This it isn't just like one melts. of the fish people. This was Maurice Le Poisson. <laughs> <laughs> Never name the fish person. Would be freedom fighter. And just like that, he's gone. Prisoner. Oh what is it? Two six four zero one. I can't remember. Uh, well. And I guess Say hello to Claude Le Poisson. The rest <laughs> of my turn, I'm gonna get up onto this table right here. <laughs> sure. When you do that, also roll a perception check. Great. In a case if in an alternate <laughs> universe. Case when it, when you're ready, it, yeah. Uh, that would be an. Just making sure an eight. Uh, okay, never mind. Case. Um. Uh. So. Cool. <laughs> Shit. Uh, I hope this that's... table is a mimic and I fall into it butt first. <laughs> that's gonna be. This is terrifying. That's gonna bring up click. Oh my god. We're at the top of the initiative order here. Yeah, I suppose I should get up on a table, huh? <laughs> god. <laughs> Yeah, you just see flute melt a person. Um, 
Okay, well, I see... He tried to I stab see. me! He tried to stab me! Just so <laughs> I'm not just killing... I'm not just killing them. Uh, I see <laughs> Bessie bravely battling with this scorpion, and I am going to pull Bessie, my Bessie. Githka, my long pull arm, off my back. I am going to vault over this table in the middle here. Okay. And I am going to charge this scorpion with a Githka attack. Okay, and roll a d20, and why are you no athletics check, because you are a very strong and powerful bug lady she who can. just, like, vaults this table and yeah. runs over seeing, uh, you know, some, uh, a companion in need, a, a loyal companion in need. Brave toad. Uh, uh, it's 21 to hit. <laughs> 22 <laughs> hits. 22 hits, too. Uh... I zoomed yeah. my screen out too far, and my and my ooze looks like an, a smiling amoeba with tiny arms. <laughs> <laughs> I see uh, it too. That's, he's that so friendly, and he's ten damage on that first strike. Okay, absolutely. Yeah, is your your Gitka just like smashes into this this scorpion? Uh, Ooh, by the way, oh wait, sorry, I'm sorry. Eleven. It's eleven. Okay, cool. And you, you said this earlier, but I, I just want to know weapon. that. You immediately called us, and it was exactly right. This was by this art for this scorpion here is by Jeff Tice, who oh, I yeah. so cool. I uh, emailed today and was like, or like, yeah, like yesterday, and was like, hey, do you have any spooky animals around? And he's like, I only have cute animals except for the scorpion, and it was exactly what I yes. needed. So nice, perfect. Shout out to Jeff. Tice <laughs> I was gonna. If this gonna scorpion say... kills Bessie, we're coming for you, <laughs> Jeff Tice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, I was cool. going to say, that Jeff sounds like the type of guy who you could just be like, do you have, like, a big scorpion? And he'd be like, oh, yeah, a few of them. That's, yeah, that's <laughs> what happens. Everybody should follow him in the chat. Somebody give him a I'm ping. surprised He's we're not amazing. fighting a giant sparrow from a beer label. Inside Denver dope, joke. Though. I'll take it. I'll take They're it. great. Uh, okay, so I, I took a giant hook attack on the, like, on a running approach, and she's gonna spin it around and try and spike it right flat in the back on the second attack. Alright, cool. Um, roll uh, a d20 and tell me what you get. Dirty 20 to hit. Oh, that hits. Uh, what that is that one damage? Is and another 10 damage. Okay, cool. Or, sorry, yeah. and another 11 damage. Try and get your plus one weapon right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, both of them just like smash into it, and you just like, you know, it's like cutting up a lobster with a knife. You just like mm. get a knife. You hear a nice sickening crack um, that the scorpion just with Bessie in its arms just like turns and looks at you with its big beady eyes, and it's like <laughs> at you. Um, <laughs> Do scorpions hiss? They do now. Uh, yeah. Fantasy scorpions yeah. hiss. They definitely, I mean, I this is a familiar combatant for me, right? Beady eyes, thorax. This is who I train to fight. Yeah, absolutely. Um, is it almost yeah, like a relative? Oh, is this a beast? Is the scorpion it a is. beast? It is. I have a, what is my favored enemy or whatever it, it is, too? It is beast. Yes. What does that mean? But like, what, all, what is, what uh, I, I have the revised right? ranger up here right now. I'll tell you. It, in a I think I forgot you, to write down what it gives me. I think it gives you a damage bonus to that type that's of creature. What I, that's what Don't I worry. thought as well. Uh, I've got my my backseat DM here, Andrew Orbital, who's got the rules for me, and yeah. I mean that in a very loving way. I appreciate it. It's helpful. <laughs> uh, and backseat I will... driver. Tap 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 tap. Uh, I have one more attack, and I am going to pivot, but not turn, and I'm going to shoot a... I'm not leave. I'm going to shoot a longbow shot at this uh, this gelatinous cube over here. Sure. I'm going to say uh, this is... You're going to have to take this shot at disadvantage, because there's a lot of stuff between you all, um, but yeah. you absolutely can. Okay. You kind of, like, loft it up at it. Boy yeah. On the way there. Oh yeah, if she rolls a one, it's going into one of them for sure. You're right, <laughs> uh, with disadvantage, it is a 17 to hit. Okay, that hits, absolutely. So yeah, you can just loft that arrow up and it just, whoo, thunks right down. And you see in front of you, Moonboy and Kai, just to, like splatter as this arrow just goes down inside of this gelatinous <laughs> yes. cube here. Well done. Uh, that is eight damage. Okay, cool, absolutely. And then, boom, boom, boom. 
Uh, and your turn? I will turn. I no, I'm going to turn back to the scorpion and I'm going to get right in its face and I'm going to say, "Drop it in cream." Ooh, okay, cool. Which uh, is, uh, I'm a manta, so I have I have mandibles, and it's so and we probably don't speak the same language, but it's gross and clacky. <laughs> You know what? Do an intimidation check. Just for yeah. I will. I will. It's hard. It's hard. It's a, it's a, it's a DC 20. It. But this could rock. Wait. Did you get a one? No, I didn't. Uh, it is a 16. She swallows your translator. It's pretty good. Like, it's not a 20, but it's pretty good. Andrew... Does this feel like something I should roll a chaos dice for? This feels like something I should roll a yeah, chaos dice for. Yeah, you know about this chaos? Them. Andrew what brought me this mean? chaos. Andrew bought me this chaos dice that has like a lot of twenties on it, but also a lot of ones. So it's just the an- <laughs> it's just the Aaron Uris dice. Um, yeah. <laughs> I've been so it's it's a pretty cool dice because it's it's it just has a high. It's called like, a high variance dice. dice. There's like yeah. no middle to it, so I'm big, have to show big off my dice. things happen. Um, if these up in DC, they're caged. Ooh. Cool. Oh, cool. I know. Hey, Max, picked them up in nasty. DC. You're That's pandering great. to our usual fans. They love, uh, they love dice. But uh, <laughs> dice you, here. Like box thing. You yeah. trying to intimidate a scorpion with um, Korean language that it definitely doesn't speak, but like this feels like a reason to use the chaos dice. So I'm gonna roll with it, <laughs> and I got a natural one. So. <laughs> Far it's, out. Hey. I mean, the odds were great <laughs> that you would. So, <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's good. Um, okay. Uh, it absolutely. Uh, I'm going to use its reaction to do this. It drops Be- uh, Bessie and looks at you, and it's just like. <laughs> 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 and it's just going to. Um, mm. It's not, it's not going to back up right now, but on its turn, it will definitely back up. Um, so that's going to bring up uh, Jack Holt. Jack. Woo! Uh, Max, what level are you? I am level seven. Cool. So you get, pl- if your favorite enemy is beasts, you get to add plus four to your damage rolls nice. Uh, nice. against beasts. Nice. Um, you also have nice. advantages on saving throws against those beasts. Um. So yeah, that's great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Also, just awesome. for fun, if you can peep at the, if you can peep at the stream, our wonderful stream producer Case has put together a little image of Bessie, which is who is. Right so, just at this. And just so you know, for the future, you No, I'm not on the stream. <laughs> okay. would... We'll send it to you later. It's good. Your toad okay, would good, normally good, good. roll its own initiative, and it also gets to add your proficiency bonus to the stuff it does. Yeah. She's very good. She's oh. like a, a crazy, like, very white good. cave toad. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> very cool. Um, all right. So for my attack, I would – I mean, I'm, I'm, like, behind this cover thing. So can I try and make a stealth check to climb onto the ceiling using my short swords? Onto the ceiling? Oh. Yeah. Do you have, do you have I, I, I don't know your character sheet well enough to know if you have the ability to walk on. Do you have like he has it. Like it's cool. No, it's kidding. What, what, uh, what is it? How, yeah, how, do you, how are you able to walk on the ceilings? So I was hoping to use my short swords to climb up it. Oh, like the old dagger walk? Yeah, like the dagger walk. If sure, not, yeah. maybe just onto the walls. Uh, yeah, give me a, um, there's, there's also like some sort of like chest of drawers here. And also you're a guest on this game, so you can kind of do whatever the hell you want. <laughs> um, nice. so, uh, give me an athletics check real quick to just oh! do that, that cool ass move. Um, 20, so seven, 17 plus three though. Oh, hell yeah, yeah. You, you do this, like, real cool, like, uh, like put the knife in and climb up, put the knife in, climb up, you pull the knife in. Yeah, so you have a nice, like, perspective on this whole room cool. right now. Nice, nice, nice. I think Wind Rider now takes this in and like it's like, do... whoa. <laughs> I'm not, I've never been cool. Whoa. <laughs> I would, um, well, I would like to longbow attack that scorp. Uh, actually, before I do that, um, I'd like to cast Summon Beast. Is that a bonus action or an action? Let me check. I think it's an action. So, yeah. Is that an action? <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Um, it's got to be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So then, then you know what? I'm just going to longbow it. Uh, so I'll, it I'll longbow that giant scorpion. 
Okay, cool. Yeah, shoot that shot. Roll that d20 and see if you hit as you do a very cool move and climb up there and, and pull your 16 bow. 16 plus 6, 22. Okay. That hits, then, absolutely. I'll um, do it. 1d6 plus 6. So. All right, six. roll it. Wow, 6 plus 6. Yeah. Nice. Plus 4 because it's your favorite enemy, right? No, no, no. I added in the plus 4. Oh, right? okay, okay. Yeah, so what yeah, was yeah. that total? Sorry, I missed it. Uh, 12. 12 total. All right, yeah, absolutely. Against that scorpion there, boom. Yeah, uh, those arrows just sink into, like, kind of the spots that you can already see. Like, a bit of its natural armor has been pulled off by Clix's click slices into it, and you just boom, boom, in these soft spots, and you there's just, like, a splash of its green, nice. weird blood. Nice. Um, and then I suppose I'll pass it over to Bessie now. Sure, absolutely. So I'm gonna have I'm gonna have her cast bite. And, okay. Um, and let's let's see. That would be a let's see, sixteen plus one seventeen. Um, a seventeen will hit. Nice. Um, go Bessie, go Bessie, go. One d six plus one. All right, roll a d six. So that's five. All right, five total against the scorpion as well. All right, yep. absolutely. And yeah, then, so the arrows... Uh, yeah, they, no, no, go ahead. Oh, yeah, no, it has... And then the scorpion has to succeed on DC 11. Oh, yeah, that's Ooh, right. It's, it succeeded, unfortunately. Yes. So, yeah, yeah. So these two arrows slam down into it, and Bessie just kind of, like, pulls another, like, you know, this, like, lobster meat chunk out of it, and it's just... <laughs> And just like scarfs it down, um, and you see the scorpion him, just like Bessie. shaking its head and like shaking its claws um, as you all nice. hear this. Yeah, you all hear the shatter cry yell out throughout the room. Get him, Bessie! Get him, Bessie! Devours him. <laughs> and then um, it's just a southern shatter cry. It's very good. <laughs> <laughs> He's the toad I'm from rider, Shadow man. Plane. <laughs> I, we I'm all toad talk rider from this Shadow one. World. Shadow Plane. <laughs> Everybody's got him out here. <laughs> yeah, I'm sad. I'm sad that you didn't get to meet the the usual captain of their ship, Goliathin, because it would have just been you and me being like, yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> I've been very king of the hill. What happened uh, to Goliathin? He's back on the ship. He's he's, he's um. Oh, okay. He's so well. Back. I mean, emotionally, we don't know. We're still working on cracking <laughs> that knot. But uh, he's back on the ship. He's supposedly gonna pick us up after. I don't know if we. Hopefully, if we pull this off. Um, so that's gonna bring up uh, Jack. Do you want to? You can move if you want to, um, but you are also in a really good spot, kind of like up on top of this, like busted up, um, kind of like cabinet almost, uh, and you have good eye sh like sight where you are, so you can stay there if you want to. Can I? Can I try one thing before <coughs> I? And you tell me if this is even possible. Before I pass it on, can I try and light an arrow on fire real quick using a torch that I happen to have? According to the rules, no, but according to me, absolutely hell yeah, dude. <laughs> yes! <laughs> um, nice. Yeah, I just want to so, light one on fire for future. That's what cool. Support. As long as it looks <laughs> nice. really cool when you do it, you like light an arrow on fire and it like, yeah, like yeah, yeah. brightens you up in that and you just see this like illuminated. Like, I want to like be looking down while I'm doing it and then just look up and go, it's go time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool. Hell yeah. All right, Moon Boy, it's your turn. Okay, the Moon Boy. Um, with these new uh, players um, on the field. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm seeing something in check. Are you rolling a D8 or a D6 for your longbow attacks, Max? D6. Uh, it, 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 I know it's mine's a D8. a D8. Oh, damn. Oh. So oh, damn. your rolls really? are you've been, you've been rolling under, and you do have Hunter's Mark as well. I have, uh, right. um, I the hunter's the, mark is on the old cube, though, right? Oh, that's right. As a bonus action, he can he can he pull can, hunter's can mark to it. a new target. I I love yeah. that chat wants to be a hundred percent sure that you're doing as much damage as possible. Dang. That <laughs> yes, you got you got some backup from oh, from right. the chat. Oh shoot! I misread it. I have my fifth edition character sheet up here, and I misread it. There yeah. it is. It actually is one d eight. Damn. All right, uh, um, so we'll we'll throw a hunter's mark. We'll double hunter's mark on your next turn, um, cool. but 
uh, for this one, let's just have you roll 2d4, and whatever you get out of that, I'll add that damage to the scorpion. Cool. Uh, so 2d4. Awesome. Um... Three and four. Seven. Nice. All right. Seven damage. That's a lot. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's a lot. As, as the scorpion, like, uh, just for fun, this, like the scorpion's like moving around and flailing around and you see the arrows just kind of like still in there, like continuing to poke and do more damage. And it just like is oozing this like green ichor. Um, Chad is also convinced that you knew and were just testing them. Um, (laughs) And that we were the ones who failed because we failed your test. Yeah. Um, All right, Moonboy, it's your turn. Okay. um, Does this, uh, this remaining gel, this slime, does it have any, can I see any metal in it? Um... Did I draw any in there? You, you sure freaking did. Uh... No, 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 not in that one. <laughs> no, that one's all arms and, and bones. That one's all arms and bones? This that, is that like one, a pelvis. That one, that, one is all, some... that one is all bones. That one's all bones. Okay, no worries. Yeah. Uh, the moon boy. Uh, I'm sorry, I wasn't butting in. It's whatever Harlan wants. I was just curious no, it's okay. if I drew it's okay. it. No, I think okay. the other one you bones. absolutely I think did. drew yeah. all bones. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the moon boy is going to uh, pivot around behind Kai. Okay. Uh, and dance with him. And um, uh, he's deep. going to uh, put kind of both hands up, Kamehameha style, and in fact will cast Conjure Woodland Being, summoning eight, count them, eight fey creatures of one quarter challenge rating. I would like for them to be sprites, if that's okay with you. Go for it. Uh, but in the world of Better Than Heroes, they are, of course, moon bats. Uh, moon bats. F- from my home moon, moonish world. I right. will uh, summon these moon bats. There are eight of them. They are sprites. They go. They get their own initiative. Would you like me to roll that, or do you want me to go right after? Uh, you can. Th- I'm just gonna have them go on your turn for simplicity here, and I'm also gonna make okay. them one large token, so I don't Please. have to put eight tokens on the board as well. But Great. Um, they yeah. they they move and they act as a group anyway. Okay, cool. So. Yeah. So there's just okay. a flash of light, and all of a sudden there are eight bats just like. <laughs> Not any uh, bats. These are strange luminous blue bats with little little lamprey bobbles on coming off of their foreheads. Hell yeah. Um, Jordan, can, I would like to request that I get to voice all of these bats. Sure. That's okay? All right, That's they fine. all look at you and they're like, yes. and look at you and they're ready. Yeah. Uh, get them! Uh, and the bats swarm. The bats are all over this gel, like bats on gel. Um, like bats on gel. Like bats on so much gel. Let me see. I want the sprite. Come on now. And then I... I'm just looking for the sprite block here. Sorry, <laughs> everyone. Classic sprite block you lose here. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, uh, Jack, you're it. kind of like over here in the corner, like uh, loosened up. There's this like very beat up scorpion who's versing Bessie. Click is over here, kind of in the corner. Talon is keeping a very tactical eye on things and tucked over here in the corner. Who's the NPC here? Um, Kai's up front, right next to this is, and flute right next to this pack of. Um, fish folk who seem to be totally on your team conjuring magic for you except for this one um, whose name is uh, Aaron what was the name? Claude Lapousson? Maurice Lapousson. Maurice? Maurice. Oh well I thought Maurice. he was dead though. Maurice he got melted. Yeah, didn't, we, didn't we fry him? I thought you were asking yeah. about a different we I thought you were gumbo? asking me to name another fish person. No um, no, no no sorry so yeah, yeah. he, he did my... get melted you're right. So my guys are going to attack uh, this gel what is the hit? Um, 14. Okay, so that's two hits. Um, let's do an additional two, three hits. So that's five hits total. Uh, this was a short bow attack. So just these little kind of like spitting lasers of moon fire, I imagine. Um, oh, it's their going- teeth. It's their teeth ah. you know, like flying out of their mouth like little darts. Oh, my God. Yeah. 
This is how they hunt Serpent. on the moon. Uh, and you will need to uh, succeed on five DC 10 constitution saving throws until you are poisoned. Okay, they're po- it's poisoned. Great. Um, absolutely. So that's five damage. Boy, it's not as good as summon elementals, is it? Okay. Okay, and cool. it looks cool. So it, it only takes it five damage out of that? Out That's of it, five sense? damage, but it's now poisoned. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, absolutely. All of there, just there's just like tiny little moon teeth that fly out and just like mm-hmm. shred a piece of it. And um, you just see the cube like ripple in pain. Um, and you have a pack of moon bats now. Um, now, it should be noted that if its saving throw result is five or low, lower, the poison target falls unconscious. Uh, I didn't roll, actually roll for it, but I did now, and it got over five. Because <laughs> um, I assumed it was going to fail. Yeah, I, that's, I, I, that's why I thought you might want to know that. Yeah, thank you. I'll roll all the times to see if it's under five, and it never did. So okay. um, <laughs> I, I actually did roll those times, but uh, yeah, no problem. No, that's good. We got to do it. Um, so now it's this ooze's turn, and... Um, It is going to move up to its speed toward you and Kai, and it is going to engulf you both. And so I need you and Kai to both make dexterity saving throws. As you you all see this this ooze of a cube, cube of a new, who knows, Um, just like, like move toward after these spells get cast and just wrap itself in this big oozy hug around both of you. Um, Kai, what did you get? Big Uzi her. 16. I got a five. Uh, so Kai, you succeed. You're pushed outside of this ooze and you can be in any, uh, square that is in like adjacent to where you are. As you just, it tries to wrap itself around you. You can just pull out of it and step outside of the ooze. But you see Moon Boy just get fully pulled inside of this. And, uh, you take... 10 acid damage and oh, are Jeremy fully <laughs> and are and are just like in the middle you're floating in the middle of this cube as it's Fine. fully around you um and that is going to be the end of its turn it's now i'm gonna have to make a little uh constitution saving throw here i believe to keep my swarm of bats up oh yeah yeah, yeah. absolutely That's you gotta get a little, uh, higher well, I've done it. Fifteen. Uh, Fifteen, yeah. The bats are still up. They all You can see their glow outside of this, like, oozy uh, realm around you now. And, you know, it's a light amongst the ears. It sucks. And <laughs> <laughs> it hurts. Um, it's the scorpion's turn now, and it's going to turn and look at you, Click. And uh, thank you for giving me a reason to not kill the toad. And it's going to attack you with both of its pincers. Even Um, with the intimidation thing? Oh, no, no, no. You're right. I forgot about that. Because it's going to back away from you on its turn. Oh, it fear. Mm -hmm. I forgot about that. Because I got a one. Uh, Three, four, five. And... uh, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. With that. Oh, boy. Max, you um, better be able to handle this. <laughs> trust me. Don't worry. Don't worry. I got it. You got, I got it. it. I got it. I got it. He's on it. yours. <laughs> don't worry. I will warn you. I, I will warn you, Max. I do have a reputation for killing guests. So. <laughs> he does. Okay. He does. Okay. Um, but, but you've never played with me, Harlan. I don't. <laughs> He's got a reputation for killing DMs. <laughs> yeah. Shots fired. I killed DMs. Oh damn, Max, that was very good. All right, Kai, it's your turn. Please Help just me. murder Talon. Just murder Talon. <laughs> so I get knocked back by this ooze. And I'm going okay. to find my balance and shoot it with my arcane obliterator. Shoot that shot. Mm. Fourteen. Uh, that hits exactly. Yeah. Uh, Were well, you shooting the cube, right? Oh, uh, yes, the cube. Yep, that hits exactly. Okay. He takes. 
14 points of force damage and 5 points of fire damage. Oh boy. Um, alright, yeah. Um, you, you just like get shoved out of this, turn around, take your shot at it, and just burn away. It's like taking a lighter to styrofoam as it just like crackles under this um, away from you. Do you have another shot you want to take? Oh, cool. I do. It's, it's still up, right? Yep. I shoot him again. Shoot that shot. All right, that's going to be, that's more than a 14. That's going to hit. That is 18 points of force damage and right. three points of fire damage. Um, Dang. with that, hold on, ooh, I have to, I have to double check something real quick, cause. Nope. I thought this was one of the. I thought this was one of those things where Moonboy takes damage too, but he does not. With as with this second hit here, you just totally burn away. Your your shot just like <laughs> burns away all of the ooze that is engulfing Moonboy, and he just is kind of like sitting here in this pile of like hair what? gel, and is like what covered from head to toe in it. But what and has I? been decayed a bit by it, but. Is ultimately fine. Yeah, as you <laughs> just yeah. spits a bone out. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that was mine. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> oh, great, um, nice. And I'm going to move towards the scorpion. Great, absolutely. You can move yourself there as you d dash across the field after you see that uh, Moonboy is okay. Um, now, it's my fun turn. What uh -oh. does that mean? Case yeah, terrifying. Mean? <laughs> Case is me. Every episode the since we made, oh yeah, yeah. Since we made yeah. this art, <laughs> when is the time? Now is I'm specifically saying, the time. I don't think you guys is. are ready for my turn. You guys aren't ready for my turn. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if we're ready for this turn. Yeah, what's no, happening? No, no. Um, so, yep, absolutely. Um, so, uh, flute... Uh, um, after you kind of like checked out this body and you're watching this scene here, you just see this tiny wrinkle from the body that this fish folks body that you have just kind of like melted and you see its brain and you're like, oh, gross. But you see its brain pull itself out of the melted body there and have four legs and oh, no. scuttle across and just leap at you. Um, no. and his brain has four legs. And it's going to... Oh my um, god. You say, you say you were what down do here for how long? Yeah, how long you know, were you down here for 100 oh, days? This is, is the rat. fish. The fish boy. We brought, we brought these fish, I suppose. Yeah. Does an 18 hit? It hits. All right, you take seven points of slashing damage as it leaps at you and just slashes its claws uh, like down your neck, oh. and you feel a psionic like this. Like, I can't. Energy I can't. Press I against can't your brain. let it happen. So stop. Stop talking. The Moon Boy, <laughs> seeing this, whirls around, <laughs> and says, "Roll a D6, GM." Cool. Uh, D6 for that that claw hit. Oh, I rolled another five. I rolled a five last time. Um, so. That should take that claw Ugh. damage away as it uh, is like low, closer to 10. But I still need you to do a intelligence saving throw. Oh, okay. God. Well, no, that oh, now that was man. from, you, you understand that was from the hit, right? That, I know, this these are different things. Separate. Oh okay. God. Yeah, so you use that one for the claw attack. This is a different okay. thing. So you feel just like a headache coming on at the core of your brain and roll Ooh. an intelligence saving Guys throw. Guys are cold. Oh. Not that cold. Uh, 19. Uh, yeah. yeah. Just the adrenaline You're pushes so this out. You're so smart. Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your mother yeah. would be so proud. You're so You're smart. so <laughs> look at, smart. Look at how far you go. Where are you going to college? Where are you going to the university? Are you going to the university? <laughs> College of Swords, so baby. I'll tell your mother. I'll tell you, she'll be so proud of you, honey. <laughs> this is absolutely the track that is just like going through Flute's head right now um, in this moment. Um, in fact, you were, you remember a note that you found in your pocket that says that you could be powerful, that you could be that's great. Right. And, oh, um, that's true. A creepy and, note in my handwriting yep. that oh. I didn't write. Uh, roll 3d6. Who, me? Yep. I forgot to oh, put God. that in the recap. This evil little thing. 
interesting. Max, you're gonna have to but... come back and play flutes, mom. Uh, what am I looking? <laughs> <laughs> what am I looking for? You're, you're rolling three d six and tell me what the total is. Oh, the total. Uh, the total is eight. And what I know that your intelligence modif- or your intelligence score is higher than that, right? It Not is. your modifier, your score. Okay, cool. Um, so again, you just feel this brain that is like clawing at your body and is like on your body right now, kind of just like hungrily like scurrying at you and you can feel it sonic energy just like pushing against your brain and it just like drops to the ground next to you and it's just like um, and it's <laughs> unsuccessful it. unsuccessful it. things it just tried to Quish do it. oh oh we do have art for this this creature, thing's right? taking a fire oh, yeah. arrow just so you guys know it has been it has been up on screen we have been excited to do it for a bit oh. and it finally came up on screen here um, and so that is going to bring up um, the scorpion, who is going to... Is this the scorpion's second move? Oh, no. Uh, where did I do... I think it's the oh, fish, no. fish boy's turn, isn't it? You're right. Okay. It is the, you're right. It is the fish boy's turn. Yep, I know. You're right. I wrote that wrong. Uh, yes, thank you. Um, I just jumped back in the wrong place. Uh, uh, what would you like the fish boys to do? Flute. I've uh, killed this brain. I'm like, ah! <laughs> Dupa, <laughs> kill this brain. Okay, I want you to do a persuasion check. And I know that there's a brain here, but they just saw you melt a fish folk. So you are at uh, a straight roll rather than advantage oh, okay. or disadvantage. All right. So I would, like you, I would like you to do a persuasion check. I mean, I asked him to rein the guy in. <laughs> Gosh, dang it. Uh, 16. Okay, with 16... Um, I rolled a, I rolled a contesting throw and I got 14 on that. So Woo-hoo. look at you. With that, they look, they all turn and look and they see the brain and they're like, kill the evil God. They say all together and just like jump on it with their little sticks. <laughs> and you again see this like spectral weapon just come out and just, shroom, and just completely spear this brain. The and the nuke, brain the just fish like splats nuke. immediately. They just like, totally destroy Great. it into mush. In fact, they like, start like stamping on it after it's dead. Okay. Um, <laughs> They're eating it. All right, boys. <laughs> oh, man. I just want you guys to know, I never get a case laugh, and I just got a case laugh. Out of that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. um, flute, it's your turn. Cool. Did Talon take her turn? Uh, no. Um, she is... Let's see if she's in range to do anything effective. Yeah, she's going to take a... No, 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 the the gelatinous cube is gone. Yeah, Um, it's just the scorpion now. Yeah, she's going to just dash over here in case she's needed. Uh, Cool. Yeah, so, yep, it's your turn. All right, the brain's dead? Brain's dead. The Uh, fish broke and killed it for you. uh, And how messed up is the scorpion? Very. Okay, maybe I won't waste it. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to run up to the scorpion. I can take 40 feet of movement when I'm attacking. I'm attacking. Does a 19 hit? Uh, it does. All right. It's going to take ugh, seven points of magical piercing damage. Okay. And then I'm going to extra attack it. Uh, that should hit. That's a 23. Okay, cool. Yeah, um, that also hits. It takes another seven points of magical piercing damage. Look at that. Uh, I'm going to offhand attack it with my scimitar. Does a 24 hit? Yep. <laughs> All right. Does a 24 I rolled three hit. ones in my damage rolls. Uh, that's a four to hit. Unbelievable. Okay. And then I'm going to expend a bardic die uh, with a defensive flourish. And it'll take an additional seven damage, and I get to add that seven to my AC until the start of my next turn. Very okay. Cool. cool. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah, Very flute cool. just comes running in here and whoop, 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 like slices up this <laughs> this uh, scorpion, and it almost like cuts it in half. You can see it's like wobbling and like hissing and looking around oh. and just like kind of like pinching at its claws at like the the rock and the pillar here and everything and it's just being attacked from all angles and it just looks meaner and meaner um with every hit so it's still up it seems to be on its last leg uh, and time. yeah um and so uh it's click and jack are both in the initiative order kind of like acting at the same time um, I, I i'll let jack take this one it sounds like he's yes yes <laughs> yes 
Oh, okay. this pet. Oh, this, That's this all better land. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So, who else is left on the field? Just the oh, scorpion. Oh, wait, I can check. I can check. Yeah. Just yeah. scorpion. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, This is fantastic. This is wonderful. <laughs> what I'm going to do right now is... So... Oh, that's not a bonus action. Shoot. Oh. I okay, don't care. Do it. Do, I don't care. Do it. No, no. Do, what, what are you doing? Sure? Kill are you sure? the hell okay. out of Hail this of thorns. scorpion. Hail of thorns. <laughs> okay. Do it. Absolutely. Hail of thorns on the scorpion. I'm going to longbow that that dude. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, let's uh, let's roll for that longbow. Yeah, absolutely. Take, shoot that shot. Burp. Wait, hail of thorns is a bonus Honey, baby. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Um, awesome. So that's 1d6 plus 6 plus 1d10 on a six, if the if the scorpion succeeds on a dexterity saving throw. Okay. I got a 15. Does that succeed? Let me check. How do I how do I check what it's supposed to be? What, what uh, it's your supposed spell save DC, which is oh, eight, eight times ten. So wisdom Dex plus, plus proficiency. Eight. Yeah. Oh, wisdom. What is it? It's yeah. Uh, yours is higher than fifteen. Yours is higher than fifteen. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. yeah. Um. Awesome. So one. So two d six plus six. Two. Oh no. Two d eight. Right. Two d eight. Two d eight. Correct. There we yes. go. Okay. So six. Oh wait. That's that's d six. My bad. Hold on. Bear with me. So six. Chat just six. Was, six. Chat just was D8, like d eight. D eight. D eight. Four. <laughs> six. Six four, plus ten. four. 10 yeah. plus 6, 16 plus 1d10. Do it, do it. Um, is this the 10? Yes. 9. So, Ooh. 16 plus 9, 25. And yeah. that is that. So with this, you all see this, uh, this Shatterkai who's climbed up the wall using his swords, standing on top of like this like busted up like piece of furniture wa- that's like wobbling there. Um, his toad is just like was in combat with this scorpion who like got who literally ran away in fear from Click the Bug Lady, and as it kind of like scuttled under him, he just pulls back his longbow that does a D8 of damage. All of a sudden, it's like the, those arrows are even sharper (laughs) and it it shoots down into it and there's when the arrow hits out of it just like grows this nest of thorns that wrap around the scorpion and you just hear like oh god oh god that one was really good that was scarily good (laughs) i love it and the the thorns just like wrap all the way around it and just And cool. all you see just like ooze coming out of the ball of thorns that is there now. And nice. You have defeated the scorpion. Good job. And this we dude are probably out of a day. That was oh. honestly, the hail of thorns made it on top of I the was, crit. Perfect. That's how you make power was, moves, Max. <laughs> I was contemplating doing the Zephyr strike as my action, but I wanted to do Ooh. the longbow. That's a cool yeah. one. The longbow yeah. is very... Uh, and also, uh, Hail of Thorns always makes me think of just, like, grabbing, like, five arrows in one fist. Yeah. And just... Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna call <laughs> these fish yeah. over to, like, hey, 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 get over here, get over here, get over here. Uh, and I'm gonna <laughs> what cast... What was that? <laughs> I'm gonna cast okay. detect thoughts, and I'm gonna probe each and every one of these <laughs> these fish. What's well, their that last one had a monster brain? What's oh, their wait, intelligence uh, okay. stat? Uh, no, I took out my bookmark for the Kuatoa because it you, might not you work if they're them. truly dumb. No, they're they're not. They're they're sentient creatures. So um, you're. You're trying to see if the other Kuatoa might. Oh have yeah, I wanted to see if any of the other same, these, anybody uh, else have a bad brain. Fish same boys brain problem. have this. So yeah, I'm gonna really probe them. So uh, they <laughs> I wish can... you, I wish you do an Arcana check here as well, like as and I will make it kind of like a contested. <laughs> Everybody, throw, get over here! Bring since your brains. Yeah. <laughs> Since you're kind of like pushing the limits of what the spell can do, but I still want this to work as you're kind of just like. Uh, soaking in the ambience of this crowd of fish. Um, let me know if you can beat a 15 with your Arcana check. 
You you are having me do the arcana check? Yeah, yeah. I know and we're kind of like running away from the rules of the spell, but since you're doing it from with a oh, crowd. there it is, nat twenty, baby. Oh, oh what's happening? Plus two, trend. so twenty two. Um, as you push into all of these fishes' minds, there is only one singular voice in all of this crowd's head. All of them are kind of just saying, "The sinker, the sinker." He is our king. The sinker. The sinker. He is our king. Which is creepy as hell, but is allevi- it's like relieving to you because you have experienced what, um, what it is like to be in the brain of another creature that has, has their brain taken from them, and they seem to all be free of that. That was the like only Duper. one in the group. Okay. Duper. All right. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Or he slept like, all right. All right. I think, I think they're fine. Wasn't. I think they're, they're clean. Sorry about that. I'm sorry I melted your friend, but clearly it's horrifying. Uh, Dupa walks wow. up to you and he goes, he was not our friend. <laughs> he was gone. He was gone. Once one of those things is inside of you, your brain oh. has been eaten. Oh, I thought you all <laughs> didn't like him because he's the one yeah. French one. <laughs> I thought he. I, th- I thought it was very much a he was a dick. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Pierre Dupascoupa is French. We all like him. And you see a, 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 a fish with a tiny mustache, and it's like, more, 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 more. Hello. Jordan, I'm writing I it down. I'm writing it I down. All the stars. <laughs> Pierre, Pierre Dupascoupa. Yeah. Now, now, uh, now I am number one fish, French fish man. Wait, Max, that was a good How? joke. You should say it again. That you, was good. Yes, that was a good one. That, that was, was a good, good one, right? That was a good joke. Say it again. I, I said, because he's French, I said, did he start the fight with the Mind Flayer and then surrender? <laughs> ah, <laughs> very good. Did he drag all of his allies Burn into a in. war and then surrender? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, sorry, good. Good. sorry French we viewers. We, we love you. <laughs> so we get lay canceled. Hey, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. They do have some of the best cities in the world, so they get, they get food, that. Food yeah, they're too. doing all right. They're doing all right. <laughs> it's fine. Have you been to Jersey? Yeah. We live in America. What are we talking about? Come on. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah, we yeah. can't talk. We can't talk. Okay. Anyway, po- politics aside, back to fantasy world. Uh, um, let's. So uh, yeah. So you all are all of a sudden in this uh, kind of like arcane laboratory. Um, Clearly decrepit, clearly lots of, uh, like a couple of ways in front of you, but you hear silence all of a sudden, just like this quiet as all, even the fish folk are kind of like, we've got to keep and, like, moving. I think like, after, I think, I think before I, more of these things come in. I think the moon boy yeah. is going to break that silence with a, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, did you see that? He filled it with thorns. That was terrifying, man. I need to get some of that brain training. <laughs> Holy good. crap. You climbed up the wall on your swords. That was amazing. Yeah. I saw that. And you like stood on them up there. That was cool. Uh, <laughs> I'm also worried about this brain thing. Now I think. Right. Sometimes I feel like my brain has legs. You know. Ah. Uh. Dan. <laughs> I'm gonna like feel you. I want to try. Wait, the, and the brain thing Where is on the ground, mush, mushed up. Yeah, they like they like <laughs> full on. Tr- Black Friday yeah. trampled it. Why they really like... tramp. Yeah. Okay, I haven't eaten in a while. Can I just go no. up and like, take a singular bite? No, we have food. We have <laughs> so much. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to. Yeah. yeah. Can we search yeah. these oozes for loot? Do they uh, leave anything? Is on that the a thing? Uh, yeah, you can roll an investigation check. Um, I'm going to turn to Bessie and just sort of give her a, a loving pat. I don't really have any healing magic, but just like, you did you did good, darling. <laughs> yes, Bessie sure. fought bravely. I, I would also like to mention that uh, Old Big Top has an amazing old joke in the chat. He says, for sale, French rifle, never fired, dropped twice. <laughs> Very good. Uh, um, I got a 10 on that investigation. Cool. Um, hey, shout that, out old Big Top in the chat. Thank, uh, oh, that's our that sponsor. Big that's our sponsor, Big Top. Um, uh, <laughs> Bessie the Toad looks at you, Click, and is just like unsure of whether it should be trying to eat you, but then decides that you are her friend. <laughs> and, um, I will that. stab her right in the tongue. <laughs> I will do it. Yeah. I'm not having a good week. 
The tin there, uh, it's mostly bones. Sorry, okay. Andrew, you drew that one, bones. Uh, there's a shield, but it's pretty <laughs> crappy in the cave. It's a pretty terrible shield. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so, but, uh, yeah. Can I try and get this door open? Sure, before you do... Um, the hatch? N- now that there's a moment of calm, um, can I have mm. both uh, Jack and flute each roll a history check hmm. oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> There's not terrifying so i got a 19 i got a 19 plus hold on plus 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 where's what's where's my history oh plus one 20. <laughs> um now that the fighting's done and you've seen jack fight and jack has seen you like pull your sword moves that you have flute um there's a moment where you know what since you rolled higher jack uh and and since you remembered um if you want to kind of like you recognize the thing that you know about flute you you like remember him from something Mm. um so if you want to reveal that you absolutely can like like what 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 does jack say to flute uh, after knowing that i just want to say like um I just want to say, like, I just want to walk up to him, like, sneak into his ear and just say, so the widowers, huh? Uh, oh, but... And that's... What? You are... Uh, do I recognize Jack <laughs> when he says that? Um, yeah, because there are not many elves like him who fight like him and who you've not... You've never met him before, but you have heard of, like, the pale elf who uh, is, like, a powerful fighter. Who was a member of the Witterers? Uh, yes. In fact, oh, okay. you know that um, it's kind of a threat, uh, especially you being a Benedict Arnold yourself, hey? Um, they, uh, you, it's kind of been a threat of the story of the, like, the Shatterkai elf who betrayed the widowers oh. uh yeah i'll turn i'll be like oh not not anymore friend i left them left them behind good because i might have to kill you if you hadn't well and then i just want to like hold up a short sword to his neck <laughs> and then just like slowly put it back in my sheet <laughs> I'll have, like, my hand, like, right by my component's pouch, and then when he, like, puts this sword back in his sheath, I'll put my hand down. And I just want to, like, walk away, but slowly whisper, Ride on, Wind Rider. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, so creepy. (laughs) I love it. (laughs) Um, It's funny, because he never told me his name. I love it. (laughs) Wait, it's Um, very good. And so, as we're kind of coming to a close here, like the crew, you all, the crew, you all can definitely explore the rest of this laboratory. But um, Jack, you are free, and you know this planet well enough, and like you've been surviving here for a long time. So, kind of like in your, you know, wiliness of being trapped in here for yeah. a very long time, I imagine yeah. you don't want to go deeper. But there is a door that you can kind of like he- feel the wind from. Uh, from outside on this barren planet. Uh, so if you want to give the crew kind of like your exit here, I don't know how you can top what you just did. I mean, but, you got to go out on yeah, ride on, Wind yeah, Rider. Yeah. <laughs> you absolutely like, can just silently disappear just up say, those stairs. I just want to say, I just want to like, I just want to like sneak back behind him, lick the back of his neck, <laughs> and then just say, and then just say, and then just say, the breeze points in this direction, my friend. And then just walk up the stairs. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Did cool. this guy just lick you? <laughs> no, he just licked my neck. Oh, I, I, I thought he licked you. <laughs> oh, I think he said, did no, he say flick, flick or lick? Flick. Yeah, flick, 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 that's flick. much, much oh, better. I <laughs> flick, I heard oh, lick. I, 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 you I heard lick. 
I definitely heard I flick. Heard. No, you. I heard lick. <laughs> I heard lick. <laughs> flick. Flick. Either flick. way, flick. the flick flick. was made. Either way, <laughs> either way, a chilling way your dominance dad. was shown. Dominance was brought, dominance was dealt, dominance was shown. Exactly. I like the idea of Flute not knowing which one it was. He's like, I don't know if that was a flick or a lick. <laughs> it was a, wet. It was slow. I have soggy fingers from the has a sharp here. Right. Yeah, he's got soggy sharp fingers from the like gels. Soft finger. <laughs> does, he, does his tongue have a fingernail? As he's leaving, I'll, mu I'll mutter uh, like, Good riddance, creep. <laughs> <laughs> and the the moon boy catches up with Windrider, and he says, "He was creepy, but he totally power moved you at the end there. I'm sorry, but man. Yeah, that right. was uh, well, I, yes, I yeah. Snuck up behind me, and I didn't. I, I, I think he licked me. <laughs> my neck. Talon's like, totally. I get it. I get it. Moon boy. Totally, because he had a toad. Okay, I'm gonna go. Right. Oh, see right. Yes, <laughs> why don't you do that? Yeah, bye. I'm totally yeah. gonna draw a fingernail on my tongue. Just to oh, God. <laughs> I saw that in the chat. I saw that in the chat, and I'm like, that's a good idea. Gross. <laughs> cool. Oh, my God. <laughs> this very right. gross and cool. Oh, whoa, we're thing. getting raided. Oh, boy. Whoa. Thank you, Fable 42, for the raid. The party yeah. started in here. Yeah. Come hang out with us right as you missed the flick and lick debate. First time but, on uh, Twitch, I don't know what that means, but awesome. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It means another stream just uh, burst into to watch. With 30 oh, people, cool. welcome, Fable42. Thank you so much. We're just, we're, you, you missed it, but. You get the dismount, you get the wrap up. Yeah, I would. Um, uh, <laughs> Case, if you want to throw, uh, if you can, Max's art up on screen one more time here as this very cool uh, and gruff Shatterkai leaves, kind of like walt waltzes out after being freed by the I'm party. I'm going to need to get a copy of this art sent to oh, me. Oh, I'll, I'll send it to you. After punking me. I'll, yeah, <laughs> send, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll, send, yeah. I'll send you an updated version. Yeah. Nice. Um, nice. I'll send you the token, too. You can play them in your With other games. With the fingernail. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. With... Full finger tongue. Um, cool. So yeah, you you can kind of just ride off in the sunset here in this moment, um, nice. mounting up on your toad. Your uh, toad steed. Can I steed. crawl inside the toad's mouth? Actually. <laughs> Why the That's... hell not? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh... You, you just kind of like, but as, long, as long as you're like sitting as a seat, it just like opens it a little yeah. bit and you're hanging out. And then it just like, oh my God. Because it doesn't have a saddle. They took the yeah. saddle away from me when I got into prison. Yeah. I Amazing. also love the idea of seeing this and being like, my God, the toad was yeah. riding him the whole time. Yeah, absolutely. It's power yeah. move after power move. Yeah. Power move after First power you say move a cool thing, guy. get on Windrider. <laughs> then you uh, flick, maybe lick, unclear. Then you get inside of a toad's mouth and leave. Yeah. Those are three yeah. incredible power Jack moves. Jack Power um, Move Holt. Yeah. Says um, Jack like, Holt and disappears. Click, can I get a piggyback ride? No. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh, absolutely man. not. No. <laughs> oh my uh, god. And with this odd disappearance of, of Jack the Shatterkai elf in the mouth of its his toad steed, uh, Bessie, the party has the rest of this abandoned laboratory in front of them, but we're going to go ahead and call it for this evening. Your art is up on screen here. Max, nice Bessie is up above me here. Jack Holt! Super cool. That was awesome. Um, and yeah, uh, yeah, that's it. Jack Holt! Cool. <laughs> Max, thank you so much for coming and playing D&D &D with us. Yeah. 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 Thank you, man. That was great. It was so cool to see the chat and everyone, you know, enjoying the, enjoying the gameplay. I had an awesome time. Definitely one of the most fun fun campaign things I've ever done, so I'm Heck really yeah. stoked. Well, yeah, thank you so much for coming on. Thanks for joining us. Man, yeah, kid from you. Actual Space was on our show. Can you believe yeah. that, guys? Yeah. <laughs> now you were lost in space, now you were found in space. It's, uh, oh, and now you are free to roam space once more. Free in space. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yep. Oh, man. My... Well, this was so much fun, guys. Thank you so well, much. Well, thank you for coming. Thank yeah. you totally. for doing it. Yeah, thank you, man. All-timer.
Thanks for hanging out. Thanks, everybody, for uh, hanging out with us in the chat. If you want to follow us uh, here on Twitch or subscribe to our YouTube channel as well, it's a big way to support us and just check out more of our show. We play every Monday here at 7 o'clock Pacific time, uh, continuing this campaign. You can watch earlier episodes on our YouTube channel. And, yeah, does anyone else have anything they want to plug before we take off? Yeah, here? I want to I want to plug. I created a tabletop role-playing game called Streets, where you get to play a stray cat or a dog going on adventures. Yes. It's on Kickstarter. It's in its very home stretch. If you want to check it out, I'm going to put the link in the chat. Oh, somebody. The, it's in the chat. Somebody's way oh, ahead of me. Oh, look at that. Wonderful. Way ahead of me. Way ahead of you. Um, if you want to check that out, uh, it's got three days left, and... Uh, yeah, it's pretty fun. It's real easy to play. Anybody it's can super run fun. it. So we played yeah, it. It was really it great. Out. Check it it's out. It's very very cool. I wanted to shout out Big Top Big for top. putting hey. this Big whole top. together, oh. hanging out in the chat. Thank you so much to Big Top, and also shout out to Joey for uh, getting Max on the show. Joey is yeah. a, a mutual yeah. friend of ours. I think he's in the chat. What up? Hi Joey. I think he was yeah. he was Thank in there you. earlier. He might not be anymore, but oh, regardless. that's awesome. Joey what rocks. Up, Joey? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Heck, oh, yeah. All right. Well, then, if we don't have anything else, uh, thanks so much for er hanging out with us tonight, y'all. And thanks, Max, again. I hope to hang out soon. And we'll see you next week. Yeah. Jack Holt. Jack Holt. Jack Holt. Jack Holt. <laughs> Jack Holt. Jack Holt. Yeah, right. Love it. See y'all. Stargazer, moon boy, click the crusher, Kai. Humbly a chef, and the wind rider flute whim teaser. They're better than heroes. <laughs>